What's up, everybody? Welcome to Table Story Simulacrum. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday, Wack. Happy birthday, Wack. Happy birthday, Wack. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. It's Wack's birthday, and no, we're not kidding or memeing or trolling or anything. It is actually his birthday. So can yeah, it's we on a some, joke. Yeah, can we get some story loves in the chat, please? Please, please, please. And those listening on YouTube or the MP3 version of the show, I know you weren't here for the live version, but you could still send him a message. It's not too late. If you're listening to it, send us a heart in chat. Right you're going to get a message in four years, Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, listen, if it's in four years exactly, then it'll be on my birthday again. So it might yeah. be right. Still your birthday. Yeah. A very merry and birthday. I'm sorry. You should be. You should yeah. be. Yeah, I'm, I regret it instantly. I'm so sorry. Please continue. <laughs> um, welcome to the show, everybody. How's it going? Um, this is the Flem Squad tonight. We are, we are, the, there's a good 50% or more of us that are sick right now. And PB threw her voice out from screaming at a horror game all day today. <laughs> That's Fright Night Friday, bitch it is. <laughs> oh, um, man. <laughs> so uh, this will be interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's hope we don't die, please. Um, that would be that would be good. That'd be good. I mean, you guys have two ways that you hope you don't die tonight, I guess. Right? Huh? Okay. Uh yeah. okay. yes. <laughs> huh? I mean Yes. We're gonna die. I don't know if Wack just made a subtle depression joke. Like no, I was I like I was like really about... proud for a second. I meant then... your characters. I meant your characters and yeah. sick. Characters yeah. and sickness. You know, I'm sick and I'm on his level. Everyone else needs to get up here. It's We're more like down here. here. You guys are sick. Down, yeah. I'm gonna get down, like, down here. Down. I'm fine, man. Way oh. down, down at the bottom. Um, <laughs> welcome to the show, everybody. Um, how's it going? All right, is everybody ready for the oh, finale wow. tonight? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes and no. Like yes I don't really no. want it to be over, but also I'm emotionally spent and I kind of want a conclusion to my own horror story. So, you know, there's that and yeah. Yes and no. Is that a good answer? Sure. Yeah. I'm that'll do. I'm sad. I won't be able to tell everyone about coffee time with Jay Brotato on Spotify and iTunes. I know. But, uh, it's probably gonna be this is gonna be probably the second to last time doing it. Yeah. That meme followed me to TwitchCon. That was kind of funny. Good, uh, good. Yeah, that was good. Did somebody dress good. as the meme? No. I had. You know what's funny, though? I don't know if you heard me on a Ragtags yesterday, Wack, but there were a couple people that came up to me at TwitchCon and were like, elbows up, like the Johnny. And I was nice. like, hey, what's up? Nice. They were really cool. Now you got to get tattoos there, Jay, like on your elbows that I say know, Johnny. Yeah, elbow or the Johnny. Yeah. One's like a hottie. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hot. There you go. Think with, think about the memes, Jay. I mean, that's how you live your life anyway. Yep. Uh, might as well embrace it fully, right? I um, eat them. <laughs> welcome to the show, everybody. Um, if you've never seen the show before, well, you're tuning into the finale, so you're probably going to be really confused. <laughs> I don't know how to Not help really. you. You could sum it up. <laughs> so I, of. I could sum up the entire show. Uh, mm, yeah. I mean, sort I mean, of. Yeah, kind of. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of optimism you have, PB. That's a lot. Um, I just think it's I think it's one of those shows that you could actually hop in at any time because you get the idea of what's happening immediately and then the chat role playing part is super cool. That's so, true. Yeah. Well and if it were if it were real life, people would be hopping in in the middle. Fair. Fair. Immersion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> immersion. <laughs> some big brain some big brain solutions. Can we show them? Can we show them? Um, yep. Jay is Jay is referring to the fact that this show is in fact sponsored by uh, Monty Cook Games. Um, I love you, Darcy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that almost, wasn't as got, enthusiastic. They had, to, they had to pay a lot. You can tell. I didn't think it was gonna croak like that. I'm so sorry. It wasn't. <laughs> love you, Darcy. <laughs> Sounded like a monster. <laughs> Just sounded like the sound that you came into mic with like three weeks ago when you came on air and you're like, <laughs> like <laughs> and PB's Whoa. laugh has gotten all distorted now because of her because of her voice getting thrown out as well. Uh so I've got laryngitis in case giggle. people 
case people haven't guessed, uh, my voice actually went out after ZBO, this the beginning of the week. And it's I, been out like all week. Plain I knew poly. that. Because it cracked and you were like, here goes my voice. Yep. And you, all you did was take a drink. And I was like, oh, no, he's fucked. Yeah, uh, it was done. It's over. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so this is, this will be really fun uh, trying to trying to do voices and things. Um, but we'll see how well, that goes. I, I'll, I'll, I'll fake it. Go XLR. I'll, I'll fake it till I make it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we are, in fact, sponsored by Monte Cook Games. Uh, Darcy is in chat there. Thank you so much for... Uh, <gasps> organizing everything putting it all together darcy thank you so much um and uh if you guys are curious about uh numenera in general um you can head on over to the uh, monte cook games store and you can pick yourself up some books you want to show them guys let's yeah. show them oh my god i've actually been dying i wanted to go through this with my chat earlier but then i dropped one sorry darcy um <laughs> So I was like, I'm never touching these again. Look at that. I saw them on your Instagram, you little They're shit. They're so pretty. I was like, I was like, wait to open these until we're all together. And then on his Instagram, he's like, look, look at everything. <laughs> I never got a memo that we had to oh, wait. Okay. Whoops. No, you don't have to. I just thought it'd be fun. That's oh. all. Hey, you don't have to. It was just. Come on, yeah, I saw the box. You need to learn how to I read felt... minds properly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, damn it. Read those minds. I, keep him here. <laughs> I didn't get he the just mind wants email. to caress his face with the books. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we got some some wonderful books here. Um, if you guys are curious about them, uh, the core books are Destiny and Discovery. Those are the books that we just uh, all he held up there. Either book um, can get you started with Numenera. Um, they have uh, ways for you to make characters. They have monsters, creatures, um, NPCs. They have lore. They have adventures. Um, they it's just filled with stuff. One book is a is a combination of like um, uh, a player's guide and a, um, a whole setting uh, for you to, to use and play. Um, so uh, if you have both of them, uh, then you have access to all the different kinds of characters that you can make. Um, there's amazing maps. Um, they have uh, the slipcase set, which is what uh, what the what the group here has. Um, go check it out on the on the store, and if you head on over there and you want to buy some stuff, um, yeah, okay. you, you can oh. use the coupon uh, table story. Head on over there. Wait, 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 wait. This is one of my favorite parts that comes in yeah. the box set. A, this, which has all of the, it's a bookmark, and it's backwards because I'm backwards, but it has all of the pages on all the things that you will need to know. Artifact, list, everything, it tells you that. It's great. I'm reading the Gunslinger Trilogy by Stephen king right now and i use this as my bookmark um and or the other one rather because it comes with two and then this the quick reference for gms it's perfect i'm sorry team I bookmarks accidentally yeah. threw those away what I, like i didn't realize i just thought they were like i don't i don't know like because we just these. got home from twitchcon and it was like oh package took it upstairs there's a bunch of plastic and everywhere stuff <laughs> oh whoops whoa no Jay, they're so that's, cool though they're, man they're great too they have all the page numbers and everything on them they're so helpful uh -huh. I, know, I know when i pulled them out i was like oh idiot. these are cool like these are cool but i can't find them now so i'm guessing uh, they don't just know. got like whatever you do out. darcy do not send him replacements he yeah, does not deserve them. i, I, I don't, don't deserve it don't. does not I deserve don't. them shame don't. Wait, can i show off the map absolutely oh my god the okay. map is so cool sorry what I love about it is there's like seven pages of rules and the rest is everything else. It's just, it's so great. <laughs> so cool. Oh my God. Look at it. I didn't even do that yet. Where is that it's one? It's, That's it's the very end. back. Woo. Yeah, there's a poster of uh, the Amber. Oh, now. Yeah, creaking and That's opening for the first time. Oh, and that's. It's got the, it's got like just what? a little bit of sticky on it. So that you can actually yeah, tape can it back it into the book. Yeah. yeah. One on the wall. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, what? I'm sure people listening to this are like, oh my God, they paid so much. And PB is just like, I'm, I would do this regardless. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fucking great. For those also, of you listening, you have some creaking galoo sounds. Look at that new book. Oh, yeah. The sounds that. of new book. And it smells like new book, too. Go. I don't want to break like it. like a printer. You're welcome. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. I think I can do it. Hold on, hold on. This is so, I'm so sorry, Whack. I know this is the finale and you probably don't want us <laughs> talking forever. But wait for it. Wait for it. I'll get it. 
Oh, I smell it from here. Oh, <laughs> oh. that's just your book. <laughs> I don't know how to put it back together. You're such a dork. Just throw it out. I love, I love how much joy it brings to you. Oh, it does. I'm so happy. So uh, oh God. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, obviously we're we're big fans of the books, uh, and it's not because they're we're sponsored for the, for the show. It's we legit we legit love them. Um, and yeah, uh, we reached out first. Yeah, we were like, we want to do the show. We want to use Numenera. Do they want to work with us? So, we Darcy was like, hell yeah, and she started. She's to amazing. Just got on board. Oh Jay's God. already fucked everything up. I don't know <laughs> how to put it back in. <laughs> oh no, I've never Riff. been good at that this. Means two things. Uh, well, it's folding, so uh, uh, it's a second grade thing. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, you can head on over to the store. Also on our Patreon, we still have. Um, we still have a bundle available for you uh, that Monty Cook uh, Games That's is kind enough available. to. available? Yeah, it's still available. It's That's always... a steal, y'all. That's a steal. Um, if you Ooh. hop on over to our Patreon, tablestory.tv slash pledge, you can uh, you can go check it out. And uh, there's a bundle that's worth like 53 bucks that has uh, the Priests of the Eons, um, which we'll probably learn something about tonight. Um, yes. and, um, it has uh, a bestiary. It has, uh, a bunch of quick start stuff for you. Um, so go head on over there, um, and, uh, and check it out. Um, is everybody, is everybody ready for the finale? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, I just got the, so I just got the map. First try. Cool. Oh, God. Uh, First try. other piece of news, um, we're premiering new show at the end of the month. Um, <gasps> teaser? Yeah, I'll play the teaser. Um, I made a game. I made a game. That guy made a game. Yeah, for his right birthday, here. he wrote a game for you all. A whole <laughs> ass game. Uh -huh. I made a game. Um, I, made a, I made a Harry Potter RPG game. Um, and uh, I'm pretty it's proud of it. And uh, play testing is going on. It's completely free. Um and uh, it's on the Table Story website. Let's play the teaser for you guys real quick and then we'll get started. Yes, so uh, go check it out, um, and um, those let, listening, let me know. It's so cool. Those listening can go to tablestory.tv slash W-A-W. Witchcrafts and wizardry. Yep. Somebody in my chat today said they were already, it was Lem UK, said they were yep. already uh, coming out at some point to like Toronto to meet their DM, and they're going to do like a full day session of uh, witchcrafts and wizardry. To, uh, That's to play awesome. test it. Uh, yeah, that makes, me, makes me happy and also yeah. extremely nervous. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's it's. I guess it's my first game, and uh, it's completely free. Uh, you can go play test it now. Um, there's just some stuff that's getting worked on. It's not 100% complete, but it's all the mechanics and everything are in there. Um, just uh, just some other stuff needs to get wrapped up. But anyway, let's it's get amazing. started. Let's he worked really hard. It's great. Character creation is super fun. Go do it. And if you do play test it, please, 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 please give us your feedback so we can make it a thousand times better. Everyone make your character. Yeah. And then post post you and what house you're in in the Discord. That'd be oh great. my God. That would be amazing. Uh, test test out. What the, house uh, are you? Me? Yeah. I'm curious. I, I was I was Gryffindor and I took it again recently. I was Slytherin. 
Oh. Which isn't that far off because they're yeah, they're like you know yeah. they you know you can mm, yeah. they're pretty they're close. Like they're twin yeah. schools. So yeah. let's get into the new Monera mindset. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm, um, exci- I'm easily excitable. Let me know you. <laughs> um, let's let's get ready for some new Monera tonight, guys. Um, so on the previous episode of Simulacrum. The group had all sort of come to realize that they were losing their memories. And um, they were trying to cope with it as best they could by writing things down um, and uh, taking stock of really important things going on in their lives or things that had happened to them or people that were important to them. And the, um, the group was trying to decide how they can proceed and if they were going to try and um, get their friend, uh, Katie Peters plays character Jax Kassler, um, get her resurrected or they talked about it. And I don't know if they came up with a solid answer on that. Um, as to what they were going to do. Um, but Jay had sort of wandered off and had tried to communicate with Chad again, uh, worrying the group to no end, especially after all the conversation about the memory loss and everything. Um, but he managed to communicate with Chad and... Um, There was a lot of uh, conversation that happened in the last episode um, in regards to that chat situation. And I would just like to remind everybody, before we do get started with the show today, that um, chat will be sort of RPing along with the show. And it can get really intense in chat. Um, There there can be situations that might make you very uncomfortable. and that's kind of part of the experience here. Um, it's, uh, it's not always super pleasant, um, but the atmosphere that's sort of been established with the show can get pretty emotional and heavy. And uh, this is something that I've sort of talked with the players already about. And um, it's sort of cathartic for some yeah. of us in a way. And... Um, even though these things are intense, we talk about this stuff after the show and everybody, um, you know, I try to make sure everybody's okay after the show and, um, you know, make sure that nothing was too much to handle. So rest assured, even though we had some, um, difficult messages for some people to deal with in the last show and chat, um, everyone's okay. And, um, and it was RP. You it know, was RP. it was, it yeah. wasn't, yeah, it was, it was good RP is what it is. And good RP makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes. Um, but that's why we love it. Yeah. So, uh, that being said, um, players, if you could close down the chat. Um, Roger that. And, um, yeah, they were, they were dealing with this <laughs> difficult, um, memory loss situation and, uh, they heard from, uh, chat. They gave them a lot of information, almost too much information. Um, by the way, mods, if you're in here tonight, um, if we do encounter another situation where they communicate with chat again, if we could have you, uh, put the channel in slow mode, just because it was beyond overwhelming, uh, last time. Um, and I don't think it was really, I don't think it really was helpful, um, in, in that case. So we'll uh, just try and put the chat in slow mode uh, during that time. Um, And uh, they got a lot of information um, about situations that were going on. And they got some um, accurate information and some untrustworthy information. Um, Oh, Arlie. Should I have my headphones off? No, it's okay. Okay. Um, I mean, there was suspicion between everybody here. Um, And... um, They met up with uh, an Eon priest um, by the name of Corin, who was keeping an eye on someone named 
the Whispering Green. Um, a very powerful entity um, that uh, the um, basically the, the Order of Truth Neon Priests were keeping an eye on. Um, and uh, just so happened to be in the city of Bridges. And um, they initiated a conversation uh, with with Corrin, um, specifically Technome, and um, and uh, who was first to speak with Corrin? I can't remember. I think it was me because I bought him the fruit, right? That's correct. Yeah, you bought him yeah. the fruit. Yeah. And um, yeah, and and Technome started to join in the conversation. Um, the whispering Green, after you ask no question seemed to react to Null's presence. And um, the question that you had asked, I think, um, PB, um, was about was about the Whispering Green, right? You were trying to see what you remembered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mostly because I, I know this is super meta, but that's why I, I we're doing that in this game. But I recognize her from the bestiary that came in the Numenera bundle. So So I'm wondering how we want to do that. So uh, the session's going to start tonight. um, Basically right in that situation. Okay. Um, You had just asked Null this question. And you can see that the Whispering Green, and I'll pull up this um, handout for you again. um, Just so you can remember. Has this sort of... um, movement that's really similar to the way that the uh, oracle sort of moved, almost like she's underwater. Um, uh, The oracle from 300. Um, Sort of this um, fluidic kind of motion. She's mumbling and things um, as she does so. Um, And you asked Null uh, about this. Um... Coralie, please make a difficulty seven intellect check in regards to memory. You have two assets. You have rolled a natural 20. You remember whatever you remember about the Whispering Green. Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> We're relying on my memory, which isn't so great, so maybe just curb that enthusiasm a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but time had stopped, right? Well, it slows down whenever you Okay, right, or it slows down, now. okay. But you can see while you're talking to no. Yeah. The Whispering Green has a reaction and is staring at Null. Uh, you guys? Yeah? It looks like they recognize Null. Also, I recognize this person from the bestiary. From before we played the game. Were we super close to each other? Just, were we, or like, are we? That's up to you. Far away. Can't remember if we all gathered. Um, okay. Ooh. I stepped up to talk to him at the fruit stand. I think I I might be the only one separated. I would assume that Technome and, um, and Uma are the only one that are, the only ones that are sort of closer to Corrin. Okay. The whispering yeah. green. Corrin yeah, is Corrin probably was like he was circling around me, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. The he, yeah. Corrin was probably about ten feet away or so from the whispering green. Okay. Okay. There's null so, in this. Like I just I've never I've never imagined null in the scene with us. Or when, I'll leave when that up recognizes. to you. What do you okay. think? Yeah, I also never imagined him in the scene or yeah, that in was, the scene. I think the first physical representation it's been given there, so uh 
Yeah, we've always looked up, so it's probably just traditionally like a little data sphere thing above us, right? Like a okay. kind of singular thing that or we're looking maybe at. That's I the guess the time we only see the first time we see it. Maybe. Like maybe maybe we are always just looking up into something, and then maybe when she's looking at it, then we see some sort of representation of him. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, this yeah, so I... whispering green is wearing this sort of similar to like a sari, um, a green sort of flowing silk kind of. Um, attire, and they're moving in this sort of, like, really strange, almost swimming underwater kind of way, twisting their okay. body, but they suddenly sort of stop, and they look towards Null. And, um, I'm so sorry, did, I remember asking if Corin saw Null, like, if he noticed in the slowdown that we were, that we were, he didn't? Okay. Didn't, didn't okay. seem to, no. Yeah, so, uh, you, you said you recognized him? You know this <laughs> Yeah, sort of. I mean, you know, my memory's shit, so all I remember is I remember reading that it it was like a really creepy secret keeper, I think. Yeah, it looks fucking terrifying. And I don't think we should fight it at all. I think it's devastating if what I do you mean? remember. I just remember reading that it was like really difficult. Yeah, I'm not fighting And then I was thing. like, that's cool. And then I moved on. Yeah, we're in like the middle of a city. I'm not going to fight. But they know a lot of things. They're like keeper of secrets. <sighs> so maybe they know how answers, to, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they know how to get us out of here. But I do remember it being like dicey. You know, like typical secret keeper. You never know if they're gonna fuck you or not. Right. Right. But it's worth a shot. Should we tell them and get out of here or you're implying we talk to them? I think we should talk to them. They clearly know that Null is here. I think probably by now the scene has sort of like resumed speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see Corrin. Corrin has like a physical reaction as soon as the Whispering Green seems to move and stop. Corrin dropped his fruit and... Oh my. Oh my. Are you okay? What is happening? Uh, the Whispering uh, Green has seen you. Does she not normally do that? No. What does that mean? Whispering Green starts to move towards the group in a sort uh, of like strange. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Kind of way. I don't think she'll attack first. She's like oh, a knowledge keeper, so if we don't attack yeah. her, she should probably leave us alone. I think. Gonna reveal that she has a the high. God, CR if I'm remembering this wrong, I'm I'm so sorry. She's gonna fucking blast us with a laser beam or something. Who is she's gonna blast us? I think she's gonna reveal us to everyone else who we really are. Who was null above? Was it above you, Coralie? I I guess so, cause I I yeah. asked the question. I didn't imagine that he had a physical presence, so. If he does, then probably he's above whoever's interacting or interfacing. The Whispering Green moves right past um, you, Una, and then gets near Techno and stops. And hello, sort of um. not looking at you, Techno, but like very close to you, maybe like a foot away, they stop. And they st- still moving their body in strange ways. They awkwardly just turn their head straight to look at you. Uh, guys. Y- yeah. What, what do I do? Do I say something? I, I, I would just say hello, maybe. Hello. Um. Oh. <clears throat> Hi. You hear it. You see it. Uh, um. You... You don't? Hear and see it. I get... I put my face closer to one of the faces. Just one face. Yeah, or the face, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's not really focusing on any part of you, but just looking at you. And sort of... Don't reveal too much. Bobbing her head. That's fucking weird. Don't reveal too much. Use it in trade. You uh, see it and hear it. The data sphere is yours as well. 
Oh, yeah, I'm a nano. Yes. I can, I, I, yep, I can see it. Oh, thank God. I like look around like, yep, I can. That's what I do. That's, she's, yep, she knows what I do, Corn. That's, you we're fine. You have seen the changes. Um, changes? Creation is the foundation. Guys, have you seen any changes? I mean, I've seen some demons, but... You can I mean, all hear her. Red. Okay. Yeah. I, I think she's talking about us. Yeah. Oh, no. you mean these guys? Yeah, they're not from around here. She I just like... kind of, in the middle of your sentence, moves past you and walks sort of quickly in a... Again, it's so, like, off-putting the way that she's yeah. moving. It's, yeah. it's almost like a... Like an underwater dance, the way that she moves, and she sort of turns and spins and huh. positions herself. She's extremely flexible, you know, the equivalent of like a Cirque du Soleil performer. Um, and she okay, moves and positions herself towards you, uh, Coralie. Oh, god, yeah, if she gets close to us. I'm probably taking like a step or two back. Um, thought is I... creation. What? Thought is creation. The nanos know. Um. The nanos can feel it. Okay. She's sort of turning around. She's putting her hand through the space where Null was. Yeah. Hey, Null. I summon him again so she can see him. What is your query? Uh, uh, how can I get Null to interact with Whispering Green? Um, what do you want to ask him? What do you want to ask the data sphere? That's what she called it, right? Can I use my cipher? Telepathy implant and implant it into the Whispering Green? Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. How does that work again? I, I oh god. Uh, injector that the user activates at the target. It uh, targets one creature within close range for an hour per cipher level. The device enables two-way long-range mental communication between the user and the target. Can you imagine being in I the whispering green's head? Oh no. I want to I mean, yeah, mm, I, I don't could, know if that's a good idea. All yeah, sudden, could we even whispering. handle that? But, ooh, 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 I look at a cord. Oh, we like, wouldn't have it. Null and the Whispering Green would have it, right? That's what you wanted to do? I mean, oh, I wanted, the user. No, do I wanted to do it with me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Or Corrin. She would have to give it to the Green, the Whispering Green, and then she and the Whispering Green would have to inject it to Null, so that would be, that'd be crazy to heart. Uh, yeah. We should maybe speak somewhere out of the middle of the street or I mean she's right here you think we're just gonna drag her along with us yeah well yeah she'll come right I guess she'll follow Null if Null stays with us I think one of you two should ask she seems to be pretty into you I don't know what she's picking up on but she doesn't seem to be Are like vibing with us cipher? guys am I using my cipher or am I gonna give I it to her okay. I don't think so I think I'd go, like, I think uh, I would go crazy if I tried to, like, mind meld with her. I don't know, does she, does she right? even want you to mind meld, or? I look at Corin as you're talking, I'm like, Corin, is, can you handle it? Would you be able to handle? So things have kind of, like, slowed down. Um, oh, so we're yeah. in this, oh, my bad. Uh, I walk up to her, excuse, excuse me, miss, I know you don't look at me, because, is there any way I can interact with the data sphere to get her attention? Ooh, um, okay. I, yeah, so I can, because she mm. said it's changing and that I know the data sphere. I'd like to interact with it. Okay. I think, um, please. 
please make a difficulty nine <laughs> persuasion okay. check. You have two assets. Um, Unless you are able to reduce the difficulty by at least one more, <coughs> it will be an automatic failure. One right now. It would have been 27. Um, I can use one, uh, but can, since I have one XP, can I do a player intrusion for convenient glimmer? Your convenient glimmer provides you with a clear answer or suggests a course of action with regard to an urgent question, problem, or obstacle you are facing. You can use a player, uh, player intrusion, convenient glimmer. I would like to do that to communicate with her without rolling, maybe. <laughs> it will provide you with a clear answer. However, it will not allow you to skip the roll. Okay. Well, poop. Okay. It's intellect, right? Because I don't have persuasion. It yeah. is an intellect check, yes. Okay. Are you still using your convenient glimmer? Oh, yes. Don't forget you can spend effort to reduce it. Yeah. What is the question that you would like answered? Well, shit. Well, because it says also an obstacle I'm facing, and right now my I'm, the obstacle I'm facing is communicating with her. I'd like to not face that obstacle anymore. And it's really difficult even if it could be like a decrease in difficulty to c communicate with her. In this case, your convenient glimmer will provide you with an additional asset. Okay. Please spend one XP. So one effort uh, via my uh, edge, which is three. Three assets or two. One. You have three assets and only, one effort. It only goes to two. The assets. Sorry. <laughs> you can place two effort to compensate. Okay. No. Oh my god, no! I rolled a one! GM intrusion. You have rolled a natural one. <sighs> you have no XP to cancel this GM intrusion. You gain one XP, and you may give one to another in your party. I'll give it to PB. Unrecognized. Up oh, oh. at, sorry, I'll give it to Coralai. Coralai gains one XP. No, who's the GM? Is that you? You keep saying GM intrusion. Is there somebody that is actually the GM? Unrecognized command. A fucking course. Okay. I won't, I won't do anything. I'm just wondering if there's somebody behind the curtain, you know? Wizard of Oz, this shit. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Well, that sucks. I tried. It was a good. It was a good thought. It was a good attempt. So I, I can't roll for shit in the last like five episodes. Not only does the whispering green, oh god, no, no, seem to, um, not listen to you. Fuck. Yeah, it's not good. It's, it's not good. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Use your invisibility now while you can. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Literal embodiment of that gift. P, 
piece. <laughs> the whispering green whispers to some whispers something in your ear. Um Technome, please make an intellect check. Difficulty nine in related related to intellect defense. I'm gonna beat this. I can only do one effort. Yeah. At least it wasn't a five. The whispering green begins to whisper things in your ear that absolutely terrify you. Wait, 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 please. We could hear Null, right? Telling her to make a defense check. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I literally just throw my hands up and I, I get in front or as close to the whispering green as I possibly can. Please wait. It's too late. Um, the things of the Whispering Green begins to tell you in your ear um, are things about you I would say that they were things that you were always really self-conscious about. Things about pocket mm -hmm. that you were always really self-conscious about. Maybe things that made you doubt yourself or... Um, those little like nagging thoughts, they take you to like a very dark place. Um, and um, they were just, it's like if someone that you love, sort of someone that knows you really well, went off on you and said all of the things that they're not supposed to say. And, um, it all happens really quickly and she just sort of turns away from you. How do you think you would react? I mean, I don't think I'd say anything. I mean, not at first. I think I would just stand there, just silent. Are you okay? What did she say? Yeah, what'd she say? Just a lot of stuff about me, guys. Just it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The whispering green still moves about Coralie. Hi. I know you like information, I think. You're a secret keeper, right? The nanos can feel it. Feel what? The world is creation. Okay. Numenera yeah. is the world. It isn't really. Escape is Numenera. What? Yes. Wait. Does Cre she have access to the program? Creation is the foundation. And thoughts are creation? Escape. Escape is Numenera. Is she talking about? That's like in the branding, isn't it? Escape to Numenera. That's in the fucking pamphlet for the beta I, invite. Yeah, I it think, was in I the email. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what did you say about thoughts? Thoughts are creation. Thought is creation. What does what does that mean? The nanos know. The nanos what the fuck can does that mean? It. The world is creation. It's, it's like a it's, it's like a question. I don't know. They speak. Okay, in... show her the chat. Show her the chat. 
Um, okay, I'll pull out Twitch chat. Um, you can just hold the tablet out, kind of, like, offering it. And if she doesn't seem to, like, pay attention to it, then I'll try and activate it, but just offering it to see what she's doing. I would activate it. Uh... Oh, fuck, I don't know if so I can do this every time. So, so you're trying to show her the <laughs> tablet before you activate it? Um, yeah, like, I would I would pull it out, and if she doesn't even look twice, then I'd be like, okay, fine, and I'll turn it on. Um, you know, if she does the same, like, head swivel look at it, like she did with Null, then I'll be like, oh, okay, the bait's taken, but... Um, she just doesn't give a shit in the first second, then I'll turn it on. Jay Gamerson, please make a difficulty six intellect <sighs> check in regards... I'd like to help him. I don't, Please I don't make know. a difficulty six intellect check in regards. Actually, I'm sorry. You've already understood this, Numenera. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I've unlocked it a couple times now. You do not have to make a check to activate this. My gosh. You're goddamn right I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're goddamn right. Please roll oh. a d20, though. Oh. How many viewers get killed when I open it up? What? Seven. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll lift it and I'll turn it on and go, look at this? That's the real world. Jay Gamerson, please make an intellect check in regards to persuasion. Difficulty nine. You have two I... assets. Okay, never mind. I can't help them. Two assets. You can do it. <sighs> you got this. I'm going to go stand over here. Are you okay? Fuck. Oh, I feel like shit. What'd she say to you? You know, she's kind of mean. I don't want to say. She might hear me. Jaga like, Marison has rolled an 11. Close. Did she... Close. You do open up the, the uh, Twitch tablet. Um, uh. I'm not looking at what they're saying, just for reference. Okay. I am. <laughs> I can't help but look, probably, but I don't know what I can see. I don't know how big the font is. <clears throat> they you can open the... up the chat, anybody that's looking at the tablet. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking at her. She doesn't seem to have a reaction. I run over and look at it. I mean, Shove my you, guys, way. you guys take it. I'll just like what? pass it to them. Um, and... Who's this guy said Pocket created that priest NPC by drawing him. Who's Pocket? Your that's huh? you. Your oh. mind is the way out. Oh. Draw and exit. No, what? it can't what be that easy. About? What the fuck are yes, they saying? Chaz, tell him I love him, please. Oh, is it that guy? And I point to Corrin. I drew that guy? No way, man. He's very unique. Never seen him before. It's kind of weird, though. <laughs> Create a door. What is that? Thought is, thought is creation. What does that mean? What is, what is thought, then? How do we create? It's in your mind. Thought. You can create it. Yeah, but that can't be no. us. That, that must be talking about the code. More, there's got to be more to it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's, that's more abstract. If you were created, then you would have to find the creator, but we've already talked about going to the bunkers. We can't. Your thought is creation we... is action destruction? No, that, uh, must be, that must mean the programming. Thought is creation. They created this world. They right. thought it up. They created it. They programmed it. That, that must be a reference to that. Well, surely we can't think our, ways out, our way out of here. No. I mean... We've what all did, tried that a hundred times did, over. What did, what did you say? I'm looking at the, the whispering green again. I'm just, just say it again. Say it again. Uh, this right here says traitor in the party. The yeah. Tablet like, starts to shut that's down. That's Nathan, though. We're not supposed to trust a word he fucking says. He told us to kill ourselves and we get out. Uh, oh, that. Okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't do that. I'm glad we didn't. Fuck kill you, us. Nathan. 
Yeah, if you're reading fuck this, you. then fuck you. Whatever that means. Bye. The chat. Um, the tablet. I can has, ban him, please. The tablet Sorry. has started to um, turn off. Oh, that was quick. Um, Are we going to get any real information out of her? I feel like this is. It's like trying to solve riddles. Yeah, I'm yeah, probably getting it, any closer. Yeah, but I'm trying to solve it though. What 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 are you saying? Corin Corin uh is walking around like he's he's getting closer. He's mystified by this whole thing. Hey, he's, what did you say? Listen. What did you do? Wait, hold on. Have you seen her before? Like does she just hang around this area? What do you know about her? The whispering green moves ab- moves about seemingly without any sort of coherent thought. This is the first time in recorded history that the Whispering Green has shown an interest in anything. What is? Wait. What are oh, you? That's some move. What are you? What are you drawing over there? What? What, uh, what, are, you, what are you doing? I was listening to this guy. It's fine. Nothing. Don't. Don't. It's not done. I don't. I get very okay. self conscious okay. about it. Okay. All right. All right. I just. You know. It's weird. It's not done. Some drawing. Corin, do you know anything about her abilities? You seem to be in awe of her. Do you know what kind of power she possesses? The Whispering Green is very powerful. I am very frightened right now. I mean, maybe yeah, we so, all should So be. are fucking we. Help us well, figure guys, out this riddle, tell him? Corin. No, he already knows. Didn't he say something to them about traveling? I, it was my job to follow the Whispering Green and record anything that was important. No, I mean, maybe we should just tell him the truth. I think so. No. What, that we're all stuck here? Yeah. <laughs> we it's still a long need, way out. We still need to help Katie. That's why we came to meet him in the first place, right? Can yeah, we two right. birds, one stone this? Right. If- Did you not see what that, what those voices and the thing he said that this is the finale? What does that mean? This is over? Do we have time to save anyone if this is it? Like, what? Did you not read that? No, I, I didn't was. see that. No, it was it's in the chat. It's in that box you called chat right there. Okay, well, look, I there's a lot that we can, in- or well, and that Nathan guy cannot. was talking too. So yeah, well, for, forget that guy. He, he said we should have killed ourselves. I mean, considering that I don't even know who this pocket person is, but you guys say it's me, that's kind of, I don't know. Uh, I'd say that if that is the case and logic would have it that way, then we're not going to remember who we are soon. I do, though. So I don't know if we'll have time to do all that. Corin, what do you think? Do you know anything about this? I am afraid I don't know anything that you're talking about. You I, called me an outsider what? before I got, like, that's the first thing you said to me, which is rude, by the way. You really shouldn't say that. When I said outsider, there have been talks amongst the rest of the Eon Priests of of people claiming to be from a different world. Guys. From which people? Well, I don't have specific details, but I would say that you struck me as strange, and I think that the Whispering Green seems to agree. Now, she keeps saying gibberish, and she also is very mean. What she said was just... It's not gibberish. She's she's speaking in riddles. We just have to figure it out. Just got a something about thought, higher creation, understanding, or and, something. And Numenera being an escape. She's, there's obviously something in there. We just need to. Okay, okay. Maybe oh my we God. should write it is down. She's saying writing. thought is creation, and Captain chat is telling Planet. us to draw maybe we fucking need to, like, or chat? put all of our Numenera together. Well, well, maybe can can is she still speaking right now? By the way. She's kind of murmuring. Um, Can I walk up to her really close and just mm-hmm. like listen to her? Like I stand up, I walk over, and I'm just like trying to whisper, like listen to what she's saying. Um, it sounds uh, she's she's sort of saying just a few shins, just a few shins to get by. And she's like holding her hand out, kind of like looking away from you. Sort of looks like a beggar. Uh. Oh, okay. Is she okay? 
Hold on. Uh, she's she's fine. What? No. Can I figure out what the whispering green is doing? I give her I give her my three uh, shins that I have on me. That's all I have. <laughs> I'm poor. Wait, wait, wait. I put it in her hand. And I'm like, do you wanted those? Is that what you wanted? I don't. Jake Emerson, oh. please make a an intellect check. Difficulty nine in regards to understanding behavior. Fuck. I'm burning through all this shit. Oh, wait. Do I have any assets? I'll help. No. Oh. If you are helping Jaga Merson, then you have one asset. Yes. Okay. It's still rollable. Anybody else gonna help? Fuck. You have uh, rolled a nine. Does though me Can't interacting with Null seem to trigger her out of whatever whatever phase that she's gone into? Oh yeah. Anybody that's sort of asking Null or trying to roll something seems to ga- garner her attention. Okay, Jay, ask yeah. her what she Did wants Did she not to react ask. to the money I put in her hand? She just took it from me? She just took it. Okay, cool. Didn't you say anything. are a bitch. And I walk away. <laughs> okay, Jay, this uh, is this is good. Ask, ask her what she wants to ask the data sphere or whatever it is. Whatever she thinks Null is. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk right up to her. Um, and call on Null, like, as soon as I stand in front of her. <clears throat> just to see what she does. I'm just Null. Null. Jaga Merson, please make a speed-based oh. difficulty check. The difficulty is nine. This is in regards to speed defense. Okay, so I have an asset. And two, which means... You have rolled a seven. (sighs) Trying to figure out how the way you would all see this. Whispering Green moves very quickly. Appears to stop. And then seems to move at the same speed that you are moving while you're addressing Null. It looks like somehow the Whispering Green is not affected by whatever it is that normally happens to slow down time. She get, she gets very close to you and reaches out and appears to grasp no, but the the substance that sort of makes up no looks as if it would be the equivalent of trying to grab a handful of snowflakes out of the air. Oh. That's, that's what do you what do you want with this thing? What do you... To understand it, I bet. We can... The data sphere is wondering. The data sphere never wonders. Is she the data sphere? No, but she speaks to it, right? The nanos and I... know. Can you speak to the nanos? The nanos can feel it. They no, can... she doesn't want to speak to me. I already tried, and she no, just. Then... Said... Bad stuff. The, the nanites. nanites can see it. There's little nanites that you control as a nano. Oh yeah, I can see them. They're like all around. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. she means those. So the nanos, they, they can see null. They can see null? And apparently she can see them too. Is she a nano? Is she a machine? You're muted, Myth. Yeah, you're muted. Um, would I be able to detect if she is a nano? Um. How would the nan? How would the nanites look around her? Like, are they swirling around her, or are they reacting to her at all? Tech gnome, please okay. make a perception check based on intellect. The difficulty is nine. You have two assets. Okay. It will require further help to pass this check. I will help her. I can do one effort um, for free. Can you do more than that? Uh, no, I can only do one. Yeah, okay. and, and you need help. So take, can we do uh, two assets for help? I already have two assets. two assets. Okay. We do. You have two assets and you put one effort in. Yeah, there's no way. You have rolled a 14. Actually, it was doable. You had to beat a um, 15. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I was one away. Or two. If it's seven, you can still do a nat 20 and win it. So five isn't too bad. Oh, even if you get a nat 20, it doesn't beat it. That's a need a 21. Oh, Isn't really? It? Yeah. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what? Oh, you're my not, God. You're not sure. The nanites in general do interact with the environment. They interact with people, and they're sort of crawling around like everything, and they're in the air. Um, I don't think... I think that you know that there's something special about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I don't think you understand how she can interact with them. I don't Are think they you interacting in a like certain area? Um, okay, no, I have a question for you. What is your query? And then whenever he talks, I look for the nanites. Are they around him at all? Are they interacting with him at all? Is the data sphere like... Like I'm actually like looking for him myself now? Please make an intellect check based on perception. The difficulty is six. You have one asset. Okay. Putting uh, one effort as well. Yay. My first. Yay. <laughs> Uh, that's a nine. Um, yeah. You can see that the um, the nanites are interacting with Null. Hey, Jake, talk yeah. to Null. Uh, n- Null. What um, is your query? I follow what are your commands? as the nanites. As the nanites move, I'm like, no, I, I'm just learning. I'm just learning stuff right now. What are your commands, Null? Unrecognized command. What is a recognized command? Unrecognized yeah, list commands. Command. Oh fuck. List commands. Unrecognized command. Open bestiary. Oh. Unrecognized command. Open player's guide. Unrecognized command. Fuck. God, I'm sorry. I can see the fucking. I don't think I, like there's an image that I'm seeing here that's like. And this is because I love robots so fucking much. I can see like a weird creature that has a head and an arm, but then is just a mechanical body. And it's that's it. It's just like a little weird baby face thing. It's not a baby, but I see that. And then like three pages later was this fucking whispering green and I can't remember. What? <sighs> we do, we, that's, that's fine, that's fine. We, we, maybe we, do we think. She keeps saying data sphere. The nanos know. 
She's like a. I know it's creation. I know she has the answer. Bonus I know creation. she's like a secret keeper. I like, know that. What what runs on like nanos? Like do ciphers run on nanos? Like will oh my she god, like, eat Give a, her a cipher? cipher. Give her a cipher. Give her a cipher. Uh, uh, okay, I have I have a. I, I have two. I'm not going to use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just make sure it's something that like she can't like teleport away or disappear. Or... Minor, wait, you... like adding adding a. Uh, and it's also, an adhesive patch. Like, why, why are we giving her a cipher? What's Because the... she wants to understand the world, right? She wants answers. She wants the answers to creation? Yeah. Then she needs mine. The she Aeon Priest to... wants the answers to destruction. They, they know what's happened. They may know what's happened to the ages before. They probably know what the end is. If we talk to the Aeon Priests, maybe we'll know what our end is. Maybe we can get out of here. Okay. I'm like looking at Corin. Are we still slowed down? We could just uh, keep talking to Null. No, the the if we're not. Yeah, um, you're not. You're not really like it would have started to wear off by now. Okay, okay. Yeah. So while he's saying that, I'm looking at Corin. If Corin's reacting, the uh, Corin is definitely reacting. He's reacting to all of this shit. He's yeah. fucking mystified. Well, uh, yeah, specifically to him saying the Aeon priests know about their destruction, the end, the beginning. So I want to so use forth. my telepathy implant on Corin. Okay, so it's an injection. So you inject yourself and the target. Okay. How, um, how do you do this? Oh boy. Uh, I, I'm like drawing on the ground and everything and I inject myself and then I walk up and I flip the page over and I'm like, hey, Corn, do you think this looks like you at all? Like, are you sure? Maybe I need to make the nose bigger. I think your nose is a little bigger. And as I do, I trip over my own feet and I just slam into his body and and my wings are just all over the place and my plate armor and the, I don't know, the, all the LEDs go all, yep. And then that's when I prick him. <laughs> With it. Techno, just, please make a speed check. Difficulty two in relation to Stealth or deception. I'm so stealthy. If I have one edge, it costs me how much to use one effort? Two points of speed. Okay. Then I will get one effort. No assets. I got 11. Two points of speed. It's not that hard to kind of um, catch him off guard. Um... He's sort of loud and, and, and boisterous, and he's been obviously fascinated by this entire interaction. Um, and you just, you inject him with the telepathic implant. Uh, yeah, he just, ah, what are you doing? I, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, and I like roll over. I'm like, I just wanted to know if this looks like you. you did I do a good job? Ugh. <sighs> Um, your telepathic implant. Targets one creature within close range for one hour per cipher level. Your cipher level is five. The device enables two-way, long-range mental oh, communication no! yeah, between the right. user and the target. This lasts for one hour per <sighs> cipher level. He's gonna know everything. Oh well, my it's god! Communication. It's not knowing everything that she knows, right? Listen, I'm the best Let's person to talk to, do to this. each other. I forgot most of the shit anyway. What are you talking about? That's I don't. True. You guys are yeah, all from this. She's yeah. forgetting. Yeah, she's she, she's the one who has. You guys told me I'm forgetting yeah. shit. <laughs> she's right. So, how do you think the communication works? <laughs> Uh, I, in my head, I'm like, I know what's gonna happen, so I'm like, in my head, I'm saying, please tell me it looks good, please tell me it looks good, but I'm saying that about the painting, like, please tell me it looks good. <laughs> and he can probably hear that, so everybody's just like, wait, what? He, he looks at you and he, and he says, are you speaking in my head? Oh, no. Wait, no. Wait, am I? Think something, think something. I'm, I'm thinking something, what am I thinking of? I, you want I'm me to of... tell you that that looks good? I did. Oh, dang it. 
Okay, yeah, good guess. That was a good guess. <sighs> yes, I think your wings are amazing. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. And I, as I, like, shut up, I'm like, he didn't really think that he's lying. Like, in my head. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and just focus on everyone else as much as possible and listen to him if I can, but I will obviously have to enter energy. Did you just waste a cipher after we are supposed to let the thing eat the ciphers? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Jay Gamerson. Fuck. Allows for communication, not mind reading. Hey. Right? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Let's just, I'm going to have When you're just, when you're like focusing on these people, nothing happens. Okay, yeah. Then I'm gonna just like sh shush Jay, and I like walk around. I walk up to Corin, and I'm like, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" But I'm not actually talking, thinking it. Yeah. Um. He like. He says, "How are you doing this in your head?" I mean, you said that we're the outsiders, so maybe it's just a gift. Can all outsiders do this? Uh, no. Yeah. You can't hear. Oh, wait, we can't, you can't hear. hear it. Fuck, I thought he was talking to us. Fuck. No, luckily, <laughs> lucky for you. No. Amazing. I'm sure so, that. I'm sure others from the order would be most intrigued. Is this some sort of Numenera? Yes. Ah. Uh, question first. I would love to meet your buddies. That would be great. But um. Can you give us a hand over here? Can't you see we're struggling and she's struggling? I don't know I any of what's going on. I would love to help you. I don't really understand what is going on myself, however. This is the Why first not? time I've ever seen the Whispering Green communicate in such a way. Normally, <laughs> they are either very obtuse or they can lash out. Oh yeah, I trust me. I know all about that. I could I could fill you on what she said to me earlier. It's not very nice though. So. Um, a little bit of bad language, you know, but I'm not judging. Um, a qu uh, question though. She said Numenera is the end, and you, do you know what that means? Or or this or this uh, thoughts are creation. Like what is what is that? Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. It could mean so many things. Perhaps some sort of Numenera will be the end of this world. It's possible. I'm sure that many of the Order would agree that that could happen. Yes. Well, yes. You should get them. Yes, you should go to them. And we can still talk from, from here, and I'll fill you in on what's going on here, and you can talk to them about what you're seeing. Yes? Technome, please oh. make a persuasion check based okay. on intellect. The difficulty is two, and you have one asset. And I'm going to use my uh, effort. Five. <laughs> I love that it was an easy roll, and you still almost failed it. I know. <laughs> it's how my, all my rolls have been today. Gosh. Um, to be fair, I'm not the best persuader, so... <laughs> yeah, so I think Corin... Corin says, like, in your head, um, the Whispering Green seems to be interested in all of you. They seem to be following you and waving around your head some sort of strange gesture I've never seen and do before. It's possible that the Whispering Green will follow you if we can go through one of my portals back to the Order. We can go back to the Dirk Hall, the home of the Order of, the, of Truth. Oh, we may even yes. be able to speak to the Amber Pope. Oh, that would be, uh, and I say this out loud, that would be great. That'd be so good. That would be great. What yeah. Would be, what? 
That'd be oh, great. Um, what do you want? What's going on? Uh, he can make a portal, and we can go. Th- if she she's following us around, each one of, as soon as Noel talks, she's immediately fascinated. So if we can somehow keep Noel on the line as we're going through the portal a little bit, that would uh, she might follow us into it, and we can go back to where the Aeon priests are. And you're sure and not we just him. Them? We would be traveling to Key. Are all of you all right with that? No. No. It's a far journey. Katie. And then we have to get the fuck out of here. Who is this KD? Oh, God. Give me a Somebody that we need you to... Somebody give me a fucking cipher. I'm giving you my visage changer. I'm just, like, passing it to you. Uh, Somebody that died on the trail, and we... Like a week ago. That's not... It's not important, but we need you to bring them back. Some sort of creature? A person. Shadow things killed a friend of ours. Oh. Burn. I'm very sorry. We want to resurrect her. Is want that you possible? to resurrect her to be clear. To be fair. Me? Yeah. Yes. Supposedly you can do that sort of thing. Well, I, not personally. I mean, there are some Numenera that may be able to do such things. There's Numenera for so many different things throughout the world. We can speak to my order, but I'm not aware of it. I see. No. We need to go there anyway. Your order is your keeper query? of artifacts. We're going to have tons of ciphers. I don't really have one. I just want you to slow time down. Can you do that? Can I have a query? Uh, I would like to give this cipher to the Whispering Green. That does not talk require his, a role. Just talk about his commands. Uh, what are your commands, Null? Unrecognized is, command. Just put Great. It in uh, exit game. Unrecognized While command. While she's talking, he, and I'm going to talk to everybody else. While this is taking advantage of this slow time. Yeah. The priests are artifact keepers. They're going to have tons of ciphers. They may have in their random grab bag of collection one that can resurrect but they also have the answers because they've studied Numenera, and Numenera are the broken artifacts from ages past. Command list. Yeah, but what, what incentives command. do they have to give, give them to us? We're outsiders. We know of other civilizations. One and we're the that only is potentially ones who could... command aeons of old. You, you realize that we are from a separate age. We can communicate age. with these, these, the Whispering Green, and they've not been able to do that yet. They're absolutely fascinated. We have a lot. No, what are your commands? Unrecognized yeah. command. Yeah, but like, okay, I know you don't remember everything, but myth, are they trustworthy? Will they help us? Who are we going to trust besides just us? We can't get out of here with just us. So we can, we, we, are you going to trust her? And I, and I point to the whispering green. I kind of do. I remember reading about her, but I don't remember reading anything about the priest. I think we should just go for it. I think we were, wait, we're just wasting time here. Well, We're do, trying do to your, do your thing first. No, I'll show command list. Do your thing first. Do, okay. Okay. Give her, okay. Give her the command. Cipher. I go and I try to give her the cipher. God. Oh God. I hope I'm right. Uh, you're giving the visage changer. Yes. Okay. That's the one I gave her. What does it look God. like? Is she gonna eat me? You want um, to lose that? I think it's like a. It's probably something like a little self-contained. Um, maybe like a a small little metallic box that I've never quite opened or figured figured out what to do with. Um, I think it's probably got like a. I'm thinking like, super uh, futuristic D and D disguise kit. So it's just a little more compact, and uh, it's got pretty much everything in there, but the Numenera would just change. So when you um, uh, when you have this box, then Coralie, um. The the whispering green seems to be reacting to Null and trying to sort of move through Null's space, seemingly now unaffected by this time slowdown that has okay. been occurring. Um, okay. Null is sort of getting dissipated. If you've seen the Null animation that I have, you know the particles just sort of like move. Move out of the way. Yeah, like if you've ever seen like um, any sort of science experiments that show gas. You know, as like uh, represented uh, represented by particles, it would just kind of like move around an object that moves through them and kind of you know move um, uh, 
you know, and spin and, and sort of react. Null kind of does that, and then they would sort of reform into a spheric sort of shape. Um, how would you be giving this to her? She's um, not exactly, like, holding out a hand. Well, I would, because Jay and I have been very good about trading who's shouting command list, command list, and I'm imagining Null keeps moving over to whoever is interacting with him. Yeah. So um, I kind of approach her and then I would say, no, command list so that he moves over to me. She looks at me and then I would like hold up this new Minera. God, you're, you're a just, beggar, you're, right? You're holding it up. Yeah, like so that she can see it. Okay. Um, you're, you're a beggar, but if I give you my prized possession, I think you'll help me. Say something about shins. She likes shins. No, I think that's it. She begs for a shin, but if you give her something worth more than that, I think Our, she'll help us. Something she can eat or some shit. No, she I'm saying say that you have some, like, shins. That's what she know. specifically said earlier. I gave her it and her hand disappeared. Right. Well, you know. But if you give her something like like a cipher, maybe, maybe she does something different because she doesn't actually want shins. No, that's not what I'm saying. I mean to get her hand out. Say you have shins to give her. Just to she get her anything oh. when I have my hand out? Yeah. Say, like, I have shins to give you. I, I'm just saying maybe that'll work because that happened earlier and I gave her it. She reached her hand out. I gave her it and she Poor did. lie. please make an intellect check. Difficulty nine. Yeah. Based on Smart. persuasion. You have two assets. God. I will use effort. <sighs> ah! You have rolled a six. Doesn't react at all. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try again. Do you do anything differently? Yeah. Um, I want to activate it first. I want to make it shiny. Okay. Boost it. Yeah. Ulrich Shiloh, you are trying to boost this cipher? Yes. Oh, thank you. Coralie. Do you give this cipher to Ulrich Shiloh? Yes. Ulrich Shiloh, please attempt to understand Numenera. The difficulty is for an intellect-based check. I will help him. You have one asset. Somebody else? Does anybody else understand Numenera that can help? I can no. help. I'm not exactly entirely sure why we're doing this. I... I don't know. Never mind. We don't have to... But I, I think that I we should I stop wasting this time and go to the scare us. I, I honestly think this is going to scare us as I'm holding it out and like my... my I'm trying to understand it. I swear to God, I remember. Oh, okay. Okay. My memory isn't the greatest. I just remember... Okay. Elric Shiloh has rolled a five. You're just not okay. sure how this visage changer works. Mm -hmm. You know how the chat works, right? I talk. I talk uh, to. Yeah, Corn I can turn it on. After this, she doesn't give a shit about the chat. I already tried. I, I think back because it's an artifact, then not a cipher. If she needs ciphers. Oh right. Okay. Counts as an artifact, I think. I could be wrong. She could eat us. I can't remember. I just, I remember her being really dangerous. And she I... knows secrets. I don't want her to have a visage changer. What is she going to represent that is a secret to any of us that will only affect one of us? That's terrifying. She might know the way out of here. She yeah. might know how to bring Katie back. <laughs> if she can really talk to the code, she might have all of these answers. Then why can't we just take her with us to the priest? She'll if, follow us if we have Null. She she's fascinated with us, mostly with Null. Right. He's with us. She knows where he. She can see him. Hell, I have a general vicinity of where he is when he talks. I just don't know if the priests are gonna hurt her or us. 
you know? Corin didn't seem yeah. to hurt her. He just was chilling next to her. He's just recording what she does. She wanders and he follows. Right, but now we've shown that she can do other things rather than just be like a mindless zombie. Uh, I don't want to lead her. But you know, maybe the reason he's just following her and Would watching is because they can't and, interact and with her. They can't trap her. Hold on, Coralite. We don't have a choice. We're on a time clock. We want to get done, find a way out. What and time clock? The, the memory one. The one where we become NPCs, apparently. That's what you guys called them, right? NPCs? The one where we become that. If you want to say goodbye to, to your other life for the sake of this person right here, this whispering green, then I, I'm down. I'm okay with it. I don't want to say goodbye to my life. I just think the wor the risk is worth it. I think I, the Aeon priests who supposedly can help us and know everything are interested in what she knows, then we should be too. But whatever, open your portal, let's go. You still, she'll, she'll be coming with us. We can still ask her these questions and still decipher what she has to say on the way. What I just, I don't, I, I don't, I'm as just as confused as we, as anyone else is. I don't know. I don't know what we do. I, the priests, I think we were looking for the priests, not just one. We were looking for several, and this is the guy that we wanted to find, and he just said he can portal us to them. But this is the only thing that's interacted with Null. Just mm -hmm. like when you died and I couldn't interact with your body, this is another... This is one. This Ariel. is one cog in the in in. We need many. There's many that we need to to get this equation of resing our friend that passed away and getting out of here. And this is like the priests are definitely one part of that puzzle that we have an opportunity to go to with her in tow because of Noel. And as long as he's with us, yeah. we're fine. Yeah, I'd... I'm out of ideas and answers. Corner, so... how long have you been following her? Um, yeah, uh, Corrin, uh, I mean, by now, you know, you would have been, time would have sped up again. Yeah, um, we would have stopped. Yeah. Uh, Corrin would have said, oh, about a year or so. Okay. And I, I say to Corrin, uh, through telepathy, I said, do you have any plans on torturing this woman? What? They uh, they seem to think that maybe you'll cause harm because you're you're curious in the knowledge that they know. The Eon priests would never do such a thing. We seek knowledge and not harm. We are doing everything we can to make sure that as many people as men as many of humanity that we can, will survive whatever comes. If you portal us to the priest, can you get us back in a timely manner? That depends on what oh. the Amber Pope says. The, so we gotta talk to the Amber Pope. I assure you, <laughs> I haven't been able to speak with Duranet the sixth very often, but this is a rather impressive occasion. I'm sure that they would be willing to listen. All right, uh, if, if you can, if, okay, I'll, I'll take it, that's a chance. Uh, I, I turn to the team, I'm like, well, maybe I'll go. I'm gonna go through this portal, see what happens. Oh, if what don't be stupid, we'll come with you. Just... Okay. We got to talk to some Amber Pope, um, who probably want to know about us and her. And I, I look at the Whispering Green, but, um, all they seek is knowledge. They don't seek harm. They don't go out and, you know, harm things for knowledge. No, uh, commands, please. Unrecognized command. Go on. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, like they just, they... They seek knowledge. They don't seek harm on anything that brings them the knowledge. That's why he's just been following her around. You'd think they would have already been torturing her if they, if that's how well, they wanted to I do it. Do? So, well, we can get there, talk to the Aeon Priest, command. um, and and ask about resing Katie and how to do so. We can uh, hopefully find out a way to communicate between this lady and Null. I know. Uh, command list, please. 
unrecognized command. And then if we talk to the Amber guy, he might be able to get us back in a timely manner to this this area. Okay. Yeah. That's, okay. Sounds okay. like the easiest. I yeah. use air quotes. We <laughs> are from. We are in the ninth world. We are in. We are from one of the previous nine worlds to them. We oh. are oh artifacts to the Aeon Priests. You're we right. ourselves are a bargaining chip. Null command list. Unrecognized yeah. command. Well, you if guys, we, if, if, if someone has to stay behind. we can convince them to get us out of here back to our world, Listen, maybe, I, I then we could then continue the trek to this ninth world, continue the trek into their existence. No, what can I do? That's a great idea. Unrecognized yeah. command. And if shit goes awry, like I'll just be like Bilbo fucking Baggins and go invisible in the wine cellars. What? Well, probably from another. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, stop. I... Oh, uh, uh, no, no, what can I do? Jay, what did you just say? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, something about Bilbo Baggins and the wine cellars. Do you uh, even know who that is? Um, I don't know, man. It's that's okay, that's good. Thing. It's like an that's old good. adage, you know, like. That's good. Like a saying. Okay, well, let's open that portal. We got, we gotta get going. So. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, that, that that's so excellent. Thank you, all of you. Yes. Um, wow. Uh, can I have? Uh, I'll buy the stand. Yes, the all of the fruit. Yes. I Thank am you. Pretty hungry. Um, yeah, and the, the person that's, you know, working the, the, the stall or whatever just sort of says, all of it? That's great! All right, thank you! I, you know, hands over. <laughs> he, like, tosses, like, a, a you know, like a, a change purse full of shins over to this guy. And, uh... Was I, what was I doing buying this guy's fruit earlier? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to butter him up. That's what yeah. you're trying to do. It worked. <laughs> yeah, that's true, true. Um, yeah, so he, he's going to buy a bunch of the fruit. Um, and uh, you keep Null above you? Try to go in first, maybe? So we can... I'll go in first, but then you go in second. Everybody watch, see what the lady does. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You can Probably just dive right in. in. If you have to, maybe. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Yeah, she'll, she'll go right in. I mean, I don't think she has any reason to just stay here in the city of Bridges. It's a great city. It's very peaceful. So. Okay, so uh, Corin sort of pulls out uh, probably I think it would look like you know like those uh, those tents that you you can sort of like um, they're, they're like they're like automatically set up you know you like shake them out and they're like yeah, kind of like that there's an archway that he pulls out and sort of like, sort of like unfolds into an archway, and um, he starts to like. There's these all these like strange glowing gems on it, and he starts to like rearrange them, and then he's got one that's kind of like at chest height, um, that he says, "Okay, this will last uh, just a just a few uh, moments, so make sure you follow uh, follow into the portal and." Um, I'm very excited. We'll 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 go back to uh, to the order. I haven't been back for a year. This is oh, this is wonderful. <sighs> Lovely, yeah. I walk in. Um, yeah. He, well, he hasn't activated it yet, but oh, um, yeah. He's. <laughs> I uh, try to walk in and hit the hit the archway. You just walk through. <laughs> it's just like open air. Like oh, they're like put some portal. Too wide. I have to. I have to just put this last gem in. Oh. All right. Uh, Hold some Null. of this fruit. And I, I, I grab like a bunch. You know? Okay. I'll show command list. Yeah, no, it's just constantly. I'm gonna assume yeah. that you guys are trying to keep the attention up here. Um, I, uh, it's just a pain in the ass for me to keep switching back and forth. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I just wanted you to know we're trying to lure her over. Sure. Um, and uh, he puts this uh, one of these glowing crystals into like a. Uh, like a like a little device uh, about chest height, and he just kind of pops it in, and you you see like this sort of shimmer uh, open up, 
And he says, come on! And, uh, he, like, motions you all through. Sure, it's right. gonna work this time? I don't want to embarrass myself again. <laughs> go. Okay, I'm gonna, her up. I'm gonna go over to Pumpkinberry, and I'm gonna reach my hand out to her, because she looks really scared. I take it. We got this. I'm nervous. I know I am, too. But if it goes wrong, then at least we're together. You know? And Guys, least... I don't mean to break this up, but we don't have time. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do. No, command list. Just give me a sec, Jay. I, you guys go ahead. Come on. It, for 30 seconds now will serve us better in I'll the long run. Then. Yeah, I'll walk through then. Got this. Okay. I promise you I would not walk through this portal with you if I didn't think it was the best thing for us to do. Okay. 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 You back through it. You back through it? I back through it watching them. The Whispering Green is following you guys is, uh, okay. just by um, Good. summoning Null over and over again. Uh, you don't even have to make a roll for that. Um, they're obviously extremely intrigued by Null. And you walk through the portal. And that's a good place for us to take our break. Yeah! What's up? I'm excited. Fuck! This is way better than all the mean stuff she said to me. That made me oh. very rude. Well, I am let's excited just say extremely nervous. It's, it's better than the alternative of trying to fight her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Be, oh, if she had no, tried to fight me, I'd be no like, I teleport. Oh. Yeah. I really don't think she would have tried to fight you first. I think we would have had to attack her, but I don't know. So, um, we're going to take a little bit of a break here, folks. Um, and uh, we'll be just a few minutes. And please make sure, if you have not done so, that you follow all these wonderful people. Please. Um, and uh, also if you... sorry, Nathan. I was in character. <laughs> yeah, fuck Nathan. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you have, uh, if you have yourself a uh, a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime that you have not used yet, um, consider throwing it their way, please. Go link them up. Get yourself some emotes and spam some emotes. Um, if you have emotes from the players, go ahead and spam them in the chat now. Um, show them you love them. Show them you appreciate them. Um, and... Give me TV evils in the chat if you got them. <laughs> the, 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 the Halloween honey emote is the best. Um, it's so good. Uh, I didn't even do one. it. Yeah. I didn't even do it. One of my mods did it. It's good. Oh, it's good. Do, we have, it's do we have Halloween Jeff Goldblum? No, we oh don't. My oh, my God. We should. Oh, no. We should have. We should have had a zombie bloom. Wow. Got his pumpkin head on top of him. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Um, and if you uh, missed it in the beginning... Um, the show is, in fact, sponsored by Monty Cook Games. Um, the players and myself have just, uh, we've got some wonderful books for we you. We got books! They got books! One of them's got a map! Go check it has on a map. The, uh, go check on their, their store, Monty Cook Games, uh, Monty Cook Games, uh, dot com, and, uh, head on over to their store. You can use the coupon table story to get yourself $5 off. Also, you can head on over to our... Um, Patreon, uh, tablestory.tv slash pledge, and you can um, get yourself a, another coupon, and um, there's also a an amazing bundle up there for you guys that includes the Priests of the Eons that we're going to apparently uh, learn a little bit about tonight, and... Um, it also has the best dairy. Has the Go best get dairy. it. Look has... this shit up next time we talk to chat. Help me. <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember. We've got uh, we've got uh, stuff for the best dairy. Oh. We've got quick start rules in there. Go check it out. Um, otherwise, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more Simulacrum. Be right back. Watch this teaser. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody, to Table Story Simulacrum. Welcome back. We return as the players head through the portal. And... Let's I just want everyone listening to this MP3 to know Jay is eating a donut in front of me. And I don't care if his character dies anymore. You know what sucks is I've got two. Shut up! <laughs> don't make her lose her voice even worse, Jay. All right. She got so scared. She's like, I want a donut. So, um, you move through the portal. And... Mm -hmm. You journey to the largest city, Numenera, the Ninth World. You come out of the portal um, into a bustling city. People moving all about you. Early portions of the day. And the um, the sight of a um, an airship passes overhead. This is what you see before you. Oh man! Wow! It's like um, wow. little Nemo. You guys don't even know what that is, probably. No. So, um, there's all these sort of grandiose, um, buildings. It's a very different looking space than the city of bridges, which kind of had like a lot of reused, um, scrap. And it had, it had that sort of docks like feeling, right? Like it had that, um, the, the sort of serene sounds of the ocean. Um, but you had all these large bridges and things moving about. This is very much a bustling metropolis. Um, there are gardens all about you. Um, you would probably arrive right about here. Um, inside the circle there. Um, wow. You can see these gardens and these sort of terraced um, walls and, and, and streams of water pouring out from the walls, feeding and irrigating these gardens below. Um, that you're a part of, um, and, uh, the, this sort of, uh, amazing looking, uh, architecture is before you. You have buildings of, um, you know, the, the sort of like turquoise and golds and reds, um, and these, uh, very tall sort of obelisks protruding from all around, and, Many other airships are just kind of moving all about through the city. You see that one that kind of flew overhead, and it draws your eye to the rest that are moving about the city. I'm already like, since oh. I was the first one through, I'm just like, like just looking around everywhere. <laughs> this is it's incredible. Insane. Yeah, I've been here before, but not here. Here, I've I played in key before, and it has it is much different now that I'm standing here. Wow, this is surreal. Yeah, terrifying. Yeah, it's like Look Toronto, but with ships. Yeah, Toronto, <laughs> but with ships. Well, hopefully, we don't have to be here long. I look at corn. I'm like, uh, which way? Which um, way? come which? this way. Uh, to the, to the, y you're you're unfamiliar, um, with the dark hole. Uh, what? I, that's what I say in in through telepathy. I go, dude, remember we're outsiders. No, we don't know this. No, there just dark hole. Just, just pretend like we know. Pretend. Shh. Just, let's go. Let's just go. And I like pat him on the shoulder, and I'm like, "Let's just, let's just go." It's just, uh, yeah, no, we'll get yep. You are outsiders. Come please, this way. Please shout it. Announce it to the world. He's not quiet. 
Um, Wonderful. He chose wisely. Yeah. Um, and he's keeping an eye, like, on the Whispering Green, and he says, Oh, yes, uh, keep moving forward uh, through the doors there. And he's he's motioning towards this building, this central building in in um, this part of the, the town, uh, the city, rather. Um, this giant sort of palace-like structure. And you can see that there's... Um, uh, uh, Myth would recognize it. Um, I don't know if Ulrich does. Um, I'll leave that up to you. But the symbol. That uh-huh. all of you should have. Um, <gasps> uh huh. Hmm. It one. pops out, by the way. You- I have that symbol too. What does it mean? Oh no! <sighs> We're gonna get your body back, Hal. Maybe get a ninja star, medallion. <laughs> so yeah, you see that, Ulrich. All right. Uh, so this is it. This is uh, where the Pope it probably is, or this, or or it's a, a barrack of the the Aeon priests. Uh, oh yeah, the no. Amber guy. We gotta talk to him. Yeah, the no, Amber. What's a what's Pope. a dark hole? Please make an intellect check in Damn regards to history. Help. The difficulty is three. Else. Man, we shouldn't have skipped the tutorial. There was a Keep tutorial? Oh, was it yeah. 73, Null? No, sorry. The I'm really regretting that now. The difficulty is three. Oh. You have rolled a five. Oh, I did actually roll it? Uh, was that last one you? No, that was, that was, that was the yeah, last no, one. I didn't roll one yet. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Roll a okay. six. <laughs> Can't recall. At least now, now the Oracle's still following us. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, we just go in? Uh, yeah. well, I guess we follow him, but yeah, this is probably where the uh, the Amber Pope is. Hey, good person. Keep an eye I on the Oracle, him. please. Yeah, I, I am. Make sure she's following. Yeah, it's not hard. First. It's not hard to keep uh, to keep their interest. You kind of see, um, yeah. Every time you're you're using null, yeah. they're they're extremely interested. Nas, that's probably easy. And then she's more interested in null. Is that how it's working? So like, she'll probably follow us anyway, right? She's that, trying that's to. How I'm getting it. Yeah, basically, yeah, okay. seemingly. Not so interested in you. There's a there's like a passing interest in Technome. Okay. Yeah, this um, is it. This is where the this is where this is where this is the city of key. This is the order of truth. Are based out of here. And this could in that right there is the the that is the that's their emblem. I mean, yeah. I think this is it. It's gotta be. Oh, I'll well, lead the way. I start eating a piece of fruit as I'm holding several. Crap, yeah. yeah, I think I'm just enamored yeah, you're by probably this. Probably all holding fruit. There's no way. Oh, that... Yeah. Mind, you guys mind holding fruit for me? Yeah. <laughs> I've had like three pieces and I'm like, oh, why does my tummy hurt? It does. <laughs> it's that thing, you know, like certain people are just like, they make assumptions, you know, like they'll just be interacting with you and just start like, oh, yes. And they'll just be like giving you stuff. You're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? You know, like it's one oh, of those, you... <laughs> those kinds of people that don't really consider other people. NPCs? Yeah. yeah. They see us walking with a, an Aeon priest and they're like, oh, here, we must be giving this to them, right? And we're here, just like, I have this letter. Do you oh. think you could deliver it to such and such address? Yeah, sure. My wife over in a somewhere. <laughs> oh, yep. I'll get it to her. I read it. No, I'm um, just kidding. <laughs> you all have books, but I'll put this up on the screen for <laughs> the viewers. Uh, the symbol for the order of truth there. Um, and you walk inside. For, and this for place, those listening, can you describe it a little bit? Sorry. It looks like an Escher painting. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's kind of like a Celtic knot almost, except it has four um, leaf-like uh, symbols that are interwoven into each other with a, um, a square in the center. 
It looks kind of like an eyeball too, like the square with the sw mm. swivels. Looks like an eye. It does. Yeah, and it's lacing kinda and creepy. interwoven. That's beautiful. Um, walking inside this place is crazy. It's like the Taj Mahal level of um, opulence in here. Um, and there's all these tech bits and things that are moving all about. You can see what would be the equivalent of LEDs moving Ooh. through this place. And um, uh, little devices and things are floating around. Little bits of Numenera are floating around doing different tasks. Um, escorted by um, people in various uh, scarlet and white um, ensembles. Um, similar to what Corin is wearing. Corin, um, you know, waves to a few people as he passes, um, saying hello. And um, there's a few people that wave back and seem to recognize the Whispering Green, and they start all these conversations. And slowly but surely, there's a crowd that starts following you. I, 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 I telepathy to um, Corin, and I'm like, uh, are they going to be a problem? A problem? What do you mean? Uh, Everyone's so excited. For, for what? The Whispering Green is in the Durko. <sighs> we can surely learn so much. Okay, but you're still going to help us, right? There will right? be members from my order that specifically spend their lives speaking with the Whispering Green. Wait, 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 speaking? Well, trying to speak. Oh, come, come on, man. You got to give us more than that if we're going to see our way out of here. I don't understand. We'll get to that. And then I, I stop talking. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, let's keep going. Hey, hey, people. Mm -hmm. Don't know who you are. So you, um, you're walking through and you can see, um, uh, you know, these people are, they have all these sort of like, um, different rooms with groups of people, uh, sort of similar, I would say, to a collegiate-like atmosphere. There's a, you know, there's a, there's almost like labs and classrooms and, and that kind of a, a feeling about this place. It's giving off that sort of university-like vibe. Um, you see people with fanciful robes and um, very stern-looking people and very... Um, uh, very, very much people that are um, giving off that scholarly vibe to you. They are um, all sort of experimenting with different Numenera in different places. There's probably sounds of some explosions and things going off uh, in distant places of the Durkle. You'll probably see little groups of people running past as well, probably trying to put out both literal and figurative fires. Um, eventually, you'll come to this point um, where uh, there's a, a forum-like area where there's groups of uh, Eon priests that are having heated conversations, and um, the um, uh, Corin will sort of take you over to um, one group that's having a conversation. You can see that one of the um, one of the people mm, see if I can find that page again. I did not put the bookmark there like an idiot. Okay. One of the people kind of looks like this on my camera there. That's sort of so like, cool. He a, looks like he's a part of, like, the Galactic Empire. I was going <laughs> to say, he looks like a Sith. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a not-so-good guy. Rich, not-so-good guy. Yeah, um, there's like a, a heat, through you. <laughs> there's a heated conversation that's going on. And Corrin uh, says, excuse me for just one moment. I, I, I just, I need to speak with, with this individual very quickly. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. And he sort of like will trot off towards this person. I have a telepathy implant, so I'm not worried about him. We just have to sit here and 
Wait, okay. Um, what the fuck are we gonna do here, man? This is way bigger than all of us. I don't know. I'm starting to get nervous about this. Now you're nervous? Well, now that we're actually here, yeah. Thinking about it earlier, it was just a little more abstract, but now that we're here, I don't know. Uh, let's. Can we just walk through the plan one more time? I'm just getting a little anxious and a little overwhelmed. I don't know what the plan is. I I uh, he's, her hand. he's got to reach out to the other uh, Aeon a- a- priests of his order, and we have to talk about finding a Numenera that can resurrect uh, uh, Jack's Castler. Yeah, or Katie, Katie, but I, I remember Jax. I don't, I don't know. Um, and then we also have to try and find a way to communicate with her. And I just, the green, whispering green. Okay. And so uh, he said that he has people in his order that have tried communicating and have like studied it. So I wonder if they have even just like a tidbit of knowledge on how to. It would be insanely more helpful than anything we've already done in the last hour <laughs> or whatever it's been. Yeah, it kind of feels like she's yeah. speaking a different language to us. Oh, like, yeah. it, she yeah. clearly knows what she's saying, and we just don't get it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I think we he has to talk to his superiors uh, to try and get us into basically maybe, like, saying, hey, check this thing out. And it's a big enough deal. Like, apparently these, these women, like, never talk, or I don't know, maybe there's men, uh, whatever, but... Yeah, they apparently like never really communicate and this is a chance for them to learn how to communicate. And if we can learn any bit, then maybe we can talk to Noel for right. understanding. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, I guess? Well, him, him, I guess. Yeah, we're waiting for him. And that's when I I Hey, are you are you coming back? We're kind of stranded here, dude. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I'm just speaking with Delvec. Delvec, um, he, he will be our avenue to the Amber Pope. Okay, well, tell him that we're from another world. Okay, I'll see you soon. And then I just, like, <laughs> I'm going to walk over again to the Whispering Green. Um, what is she doing right now? Is she, like, focusing on us? Is she kind of, I imagine if we were distracted, she kind of, like, a toddler just starts to walk off. Like, we have to, like, call Null to bring her back. That's yeah, what I probably. keep imagining. That's exactly the case. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, come What in. happens if I use hedge magic in front of her? Techno, please make an intellect check in regards to hedge magic. The difficulty is nine. Uh, okay. I don't know if I have enough to... You have one asset. I don't know if I can do it. No. You have rolled an 11. I make like a bouquet, and some dude standing next to me is like, oh, for me? And I'm just like, go, go away. I think it's a it's combination of, of probably that and... There's so many weird things that are happening in this place um, yeah. with Numenera and um, there's definitely other nanos here as well. You'd be able to notice that in the um, in in your perceptions just in general. Um, there's probably a fair amount of them here. Otherwise, I'd have you just make a roll, but there's a fair amount. Oh, okay. Well, now that I notice the other nanos, do I I notice them right? I can tell that they're yeah same. There's a okay. similar to you. They have a sort of connection with these uh, nanites that are floating throughout the place. They have a they're able to sort of like influence them. You know, they're they're moving about them. They sort of I don't know. However, you would perceive it really. I'll leave it up okay. to you. However, no, you yeah. noticed that um, Jack's Castler was a nano. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, the, the nanites seem to be, like, just a lot more drawn to the nanos, naturally, I guess, so. Okay. <sighs> I try, guys, uh, but I did get Noel to talk, so that's good. Right, Noel? Yeah. <laughs> what is your uh, query? 
No, I was just saying, right, it's good to talk to you. I like talking to you. Command unrecognized. Damn it, can't you just be my friend just once? Command just once. unrecognized. <sighs> I'm gonna go talk to uh, the Whispering Green. <clears throat> um, just I wanna know what she's like. If she's speaking, I wanna know what she's saying. Um, and if she's not really speaking, I'd, I'd probably offer a greeting, a little hello, try and get her attention. Sure. Um... She's saying a center for knowledge. Knowledge is studied. Human era is studied. So much of this is misunderstood. Misunderstood. They do not have the voice. That one does. That one does. That one does. They do not have the voice. Who is who is the voice? Some speak to the data sphere. Right. Some understand knowledge. Right. What's she saying? Well, hold on, hold on. These, but these, they don't get the knowledge here, right? Knowledge is everywhere. It's creation, like you said, right? It's creation? Or creation is knowledge? This is a place of knowledge. Place of knowledge. But many what about do not the data see. Sphere? <gasps> a knowledge, place of knowledge, knowledge. Oh, I'm, guys. Oh, I'm good at knowledge based tasks. I think. I don't yeah. know. I could be terrible too, but I think that's part of my like character thing. Remember that with the, 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 how do we got here? I don't know how you guys call it. The thing. Right. I, I can't remember, but I, I, I'm supposed to be knowledgeable and, and understand Numenera and the data sphere and the nanites and, uh, but what do I need to understand? I, well, I don't know. I, I don't think any of us know. He's, what did she say? What did she say? I mean, I guess knowledge. I guess you heard it. She's just talking about knowledge. knowledge. Well, but she said that one knows. Uh, but who? Jay! I start shaking. Jay! I don't know. Me. I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know. Oh. Thought is creation. You, you talked to her. You talked to her. She said oh. thought was creation, and now we're here with knowledge. I get in front of her, and I'm just like, the, the nanos know, right? We know? She seemingly is rambling. A lot of non-coherent thoughts. Oh, why can't you just talk to me? I woke up to another nano. I'm like, hey, I need, I just. There's someone like, me. there's someone like tinkering with like this sphere like piece of Numenera and you can see it has swirls in its metal and uh, different lights are like slowly illuminating on it and this person has what appears to be like some sort of pair of tweezers or something and is inserting like one of these like really small crystals into the device as you walk up um i like i like lean down uh, actually this is how i approach i lean down i'm like look at it. i'm like that's pretty cool <laughs> they like do the thing where they're like looking up as far as they can, like their their head isn't moving, but their eyes like roll up like as far as possible. They yeah, just that's barely neat. see you over this I get, device. I get you, man. Uh, but we need help with the whispering green. I think this is very delicate work. Just I'm in the, the process of activating this new Monera. Well, can you hold off on the activation? Just, this is a rare opportunity. She's communicating with us. It's taken me three hours to prepare it to this point. Uh, I'll, I'll give you this. And I pull out my cipher. That's a teleporter. I'll, it's, it teleports you. I, I don't need it. If you want it, then you can have it if you help us, please. Please make she near us? an intellect check based on I, persuasion. The difficulty I would is sorry. two. I would assume I'm not that far away, right? Would we have known that you walked off? Were you, were you just oh, like, yeah. Because I was like shaking Jay. Then I'm like, no way, come here. Yeah. You announced that you're going to go find a nano? Yeah. Okay. I think as you approach, I'm going to go, that's a right. That's not a nano. Oh, God. Difficulty two? Correct. Wouldn't I know the difference between. A I'm a right. I love, I love ciphers. <laughs> I create ciphers. Six. Um, okay, so, uh, super heavy sigh. 
like it does the thing when you're super hyper focused and being a, a person that creates cosplay you probably know <laughs> when you're doing like really fine work and you get like hyper focused and you have to like pull your brain back you know back to like reality and perceiving anything beyond this space yeah. you know and um it's annoying you get so pissed yeah you're just like no he, like pulls the tweezers away first then like puts the object down on this glowing lit table <sighs> what do you have i'm sorry no just come over here my uh my friends uh we you have you said just... you had something for me oh yeah yeah, yeah. this teleporter i said you gotta help me first dude i'm good for my word what? look what? at me See that thing? And I point to the Whispering Grain. I'm like, she's been following us since the City of Bridges. The Whispering Grain. Yes, that. Yes. And um, you're you're a nano, right? Look at you. You're a nano, right? I am a nano. So, so. She, we need to figure out how to talk to her because she has taken a kind of fancy to our, our, us. Nanos. Are you speaking another language? I don't think I've ever heard that yes, before. Yes, I'm terrible at explaining. Can you talk to the smarter people that I'm with, please? I, like, lead him back over if he's willing. He's, like, looking at you. I don't... I had no idea what you just said. Those... It felt like a... It feels like you just played some boggle or something and just Listen. shook up this bunch of words and threw them down and whatever landed on the table you read. Um, uh, Dayquil is a hell of a drug. Thank you. Um, okay. So uh, he's looking at you kind of confused. Um, and I you like just, wave him over like, ah, ah, guys, good. Uh, and he just kind of lumbers over. This guy's kind of like, um, he's not very tall, but he's kind of like girthy. He's a like a wide, you know, a wide gentleman, um, and uh, he sort of lumbers over. You can see his robes are like scraping on the ground a little bit. He picks them up and moves. This guy's a nano too, and she says something about nanos being uh, the knowledge that we need. So, what? Uh, Jay, when I was sh we heard that when I was shaking you. So, Jay. Yeah. Did you remember any of it, what was said? What? Me? I didn't hear anything. I no, no, like, Jay. I'm talking to Jay. No, oh, I mean, I do, but, uh, hello? Like, I'll introduce myself to him. I'll kind of, hi. Uh, Should... what is he doing? I don't know. Shouldn't we be waiting for the other? No, know, no, just... we're waiting for him. But in the meantime, we're making ourselves occupied by getting another nano to help us. Because she, apparently, and I walk over to her and I, I like, wave the other guy over. Uh, to stand next to me in front of her and I'm like because she was whispering and she did come up to me and and talk about how oh, we so are connected now to you want to listen to her no I don't want to listen to her because she's very mean be careful don't insult her don't try to like touch her or persuade her or anything because she might say mean things very mean make you hate your life actually so uh, but okay uh are you a nano, sir? I or... am. I'm sorry. I, I, I was busy with some work. I, I'm really sorry that we interrupted you then. Um, I, I don't understand what's being asked of me. Uh, I lean Talk forward to her. to her and I say, is there anything we can do or do we need more? You're leaning to the Whispering Green? Yes, not to him. <laughs> okay. Um... Please make a difficulty nine intellect check in regards to persuasion. You have two assets. Okay, and one effort. I did it! You have rolled an 18. <laughs> Plus so. two damage. It's <clears throat> powerful. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um... The Whispering Green seems to move about the Nano, weaving between both of you. The Nanos know. The Nanos know. They can see. 
the data sphere is understood by some. Not all, but some. Some know. Some see. Some see. Creation is the foundation. Thought is creation. The nanos know. The nanos can feel it. The world is creation. Numenera is the world. Escape is Numenera. So oh, there is a Numenera. I'm like, right. Sorry, we didn't start. hear that, did we? Oh, she's saying Yo. it out loud. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, whispering. If you no, were close you enough. Well, I wasn't sure she was whispering or not, so. No commands. Demand unrecognized. Uh, so I think that, uh, I think Null's a device. I think Null's Numenera. Uh, and also I don't think we should continue talking with random people in this world because we are just going to, like I said, and I will stress again, we are only going to get woven into the code even more. Um, Myth, I, you, I got her to talk by bringing another one in. Like, right, but at least give me credit for that one. No, you're, you're doing, doing the same thing, thing though. Thank you. Like, thank, like, that's awesome. But I'm, I'm also worried that we're going to lose you from you helping us. Listen, I am willing to take one for the team because I, I don't even know what you're talking about, but I'm here. I'm on a mission exactly. and I would, she said nanos data sphere. That's, that's my, that's our specialty. Like that's, that's ours. And, and there's several here. I can see them. I can see all of them. I mean, no. if you can get ne commands? we create. Oh, sorry. No, I was saying no commands. Uh, so I think, I think, I think we're, I think we've been interacting with the Numenera. I think we've been interacting with the thought that is creation, the creation that is Numenera, Numenera being the world. And I think that is Numenera. And I think that is the world. I think he is it. But he, she, <sighs> yes. That's why she's so inter, so, so, so into him. I think it's either it or them. Or, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, that's just Thought me. is creation. When we think we speak to Null, that's like our thought, right? Creation. I think, I think. And then this, he can think... create for us. He keep, but he can't like the nanos can create, they have magic, but imagine if you got enough together, could they create something enough to like, so can you use your hedge magic to make things? Or I, I can, but I can't make anything big, but maybe if I got can more, you make a door. That's what just I'm saying. One. Maybe oh, we you. can make a door. Just you, you can make a five foot square. I, I've played a nano before. Five feet is enough to go through a door. Can you think up a door? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, if I tried, yeah. No commands. Try. Command oh. unrecognized. What if that? What if that is? What if that is the commands? What if she's just shouting what we have to say to Null? Null thought is creation. Unrecognized command. Uh, right. Numenera is the world. The world is creation. Unrecognized command. Nothing. Make a door. Make a door. All right. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Uh. I'm going to try and make a door by myself first. Well, I'll help. Just a basic door, five foot high. Uh, just simple, wooden. Jack Gnome, you are trying to use your hedge magic. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, no. Please make an intellect check. Difficulty one in regards to hedge magic. If you apply effort, you make that free. Yay. Yeah. You have rolled a 12. You create a small door. Um, it's, uh, it's not very tall. It's about five feet high, but you can, you know, if you bend down, you could probably All try right. and walk through it. What do you think Open it looks this. like? I would say it has like, it literally looks like an MMO door. <laughs> Something that I would not remember, but I would think up. Where it's like, it's got like a metal frame. It's wooden with like a, a cutout for a tiny window with bars over it. And it's just got a little metal handle. It's just very simple, very plain. And and yeah, five foot because I'm short. Oh, 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 open All right. It. Yeah, let's uh, Alice in Wonderland this shit. Let's go. I, uh, I don't know if it works, but oh, fuck it, just pull. I, I I open it. Okay, you open the door. You see it, the other side of the room. 
I step through anyway, just to make sure. You step through the door. Fuck. <sighs> I knew it was more than this. Maybe this is why I think we need more. A, an exit. But imagine Maybe. if we created a door and then the priest somehow got together and created a Wait, Listen, can you, you... all you did was create a door. Maybe you need to think of an exit. Create an what entrance. Was an exit? An exit button? Thought is creation. No, like thought that. is creation. You thought of a door, you got a door. Think of an exit out of here. Okay. Like a, yeah, yeah. What, uh, what would that look like? In uh, a, a fucking Alt F4. That you don't understand what that is. Um, uh, uh, fuck. What, okay, so whenever, uh, uh, what do you think of? I think of a door when I want to leave something. Think, uh, you think of, um, think of a, uh, um, uh, home. Um, yeah. What can you remember? Anything? I, I'd have to test this. <sighs> Think of anything. Anything that reminds you of home. Are you still trying to, by the way, use oh, Null's um, yeah. slow down yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do another Null commands. Anything? Well, I, do I need to roll to see if I remember anything, by the way? I think I do, or do I just know, not know? Uh, I mean, I, I I, don't know. I'll leave that up to you. I, I, honestly, if I want to stay in character, I would say, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know, guys. I, I can't, I can't think of anything specific. When I think about leaving, I just think of going out a door. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I don't... Uh, um, think Wait. of leaving the world then, leaving Numenera. Wait, Why, what? Away? What? Try to draw it. She keeps drawing things from the real world. Oh, yeah, I, I look yeah. at it. I'm like, hey, I drew this door when you guys were talking about a door, and I show you a door. And I kid you not, it is literally the, the hidden door from Lord of the Rings where they had to solve the riddle. Be friend and enter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and so it's literally that. <laughs> and it's like, it just came to me. I don't know. This is really cool, though, don't you think? Okay, well, we'll do it again. Yes, that's right. Do it right. again. Draw it again? Do you want no. one? Oh. Um, can you make another door using that as your reference? I look at the other guy that's next to me. I'm like, do you think or we can, can make you, this in like or, a stone wall? Can you think of where, can you draw where, what you remember of home and then I, make I, I'm it? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very busy. I don't really understand what it is you're asking for me. You want me to make oh you God, a door? Oh my God, we are outsiders and we are trying to find our way home. Will you please help us for fuck's sake? Outsiders? Hey, how many ciphers? Let's just all give him all our ciphers of no. what, and he'll help us, right? Uh, oh, it's a cipher, a cipher. Uh, give me, give me your cipher. Next, give me your cipher. Yeah. Corin, uh, you can... Corin probably would have been uh, heading back to the group by this point. Okay. This is uh, a rejuvenator. Okay. There you I'll go. Take it and I'll thrust it out to the to the green, um, whispering green. This is a rejuvenator. How are you trying to, you're just holding it? Yeah, I'm just, I'm holding, I think after, I, I, please help us get home. There's no response. Fuck. Corn, no. we gotta get, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. What's going on, man? <sighs> All right. I've spoken to Delvec, and Delvec has said that the Amber Pope is here in the Durko, and we can speak with him. Okay. Great. That's great. Great. We, we, we are we'll you. just have to we? wait a little while. Um, uh, Delvec will, will in, make introductions and then, uh, I, it sounds like we can, we can speak to Duranet. That's, we don't that's have exciting. time. We don't really that's have time. Exciting. Well, we can, we can make time. Just don't. She, look at her though. Look at the whispering green. She's losing interest. There's too many things around. We have to either get her alone or we have to just go there now and hope that they'll just understand. But we can't, I just, there's no way I'm gonna break through a fucking I'm, holy well, no, city I'm looking at Cora and I'm like, come on, dude. Like, we need to get there now, look at her. And she like, cause you oh. said that she was like focused, like losing attention on us. Oh, um. If you want this discovery, I think right? they'll understand, right? Corin, listen, we're forgetting things very quickly about where we're from. So if you want this knowledge, you need to talk to us now. Please make an intellect check based on perception. Difficulty two. 
You Perception have or persuasion? Persuasion. You have one asset. Glitched him. Anyone gonna help me? Uh, yeah. Can I? Oh, yeah, I'm, I think I would, I'm helping, right? Oh, yeah, she's helping. Silver tongue would be... That's where you have I'd... the asset from. Oh. oh, okay, okay. I could also help, but I don't know if that adds another... I don't know if it stacks, does it? Um, where is it popping up? Is it not showing up? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm sorry, what was the difficulty, Nell? Two. Oh. You have rolled a 17. Okay. Um, you can see that Corin says... Don't worry, I'm sure Delvec will be receptive. Just give me one moment. And he rushes over back to Delvec. Okay, okay good. Who is good. seemingly, Nobody's... by the way, he's like interested in the conversations. He's doing one of those like... Can I run over with him? Okay. I run over too. <laughs> All right, you go Wings, over with like, Corrin. flapping about behind me. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. You, you rush I'll over there. Right? If, if he's going to where we need to go, then yeah, I'll, I'm still holding Una's hand and I'll I'm going to probably... stay with the Whispering Green. Okay. I'll, I'll come with you, PB. Okay. Who's staying with the Whispering Green? Just Jay? Um. If Jay's going to stay behind, I don't want to leave him. I'll stay. I don't know if I can give you guys a chance. Like, unless, you, unless if you guys just start walking off, I just wouldn't come. Are you they going to go talk to the Emperor Pope? Are you guys going to go talk to the Emperor Pope right well, now? I think we're They're leaving because that's the person he needs to room. talk to so we can leave. So that's why we're just heading there. Just don't talk. Jay, just don't talk. You can come. Come on. Get her over here. You know, I don't yeah, want to yeah, split I'm, up, I'm guys. Well. I'm right there. You guys are like 20 feet away. I can see you. Yeah, that happened before, though. It's, You're right outside the door. Stay with Jay. Right here. Okay. Well, I still run over with the guy with corn. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay. I'm not, I'm not gonna leave everybody. Okay. So Una and Techno rush over with uh, Corin. No, I think I'm... Una and I are holding hands. I think she was gonna yeah. go. Oh, okay. I was gonna go. Yeah. So just. I was just calling. Myself. It's just me. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you rush over. Uh, Delvic says, "Is there a problem, Corin?" What's going on? Are we going to bring the Whispering Green to the Amber? Uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm very sorry, Delvec. Uh, but I, I, these uh, outsiders here are in a bit of a hurry. And how does that affect me? Oh, uh, uh, uh Corin, you should tell them about the memory loss. I, I was, I was getting to that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, you got it. I'm right here, though. Uh, you see, they, they are having some difficulties with their memories. They're worried that if we don't hurry, they might lose the interest of the Whispering Green, and that would be horrible for everyone. <sighs> Gorin, if these are more falsehoods and uh, uh, it, but uninteresting the, uh, no. things... I don't know how Duranet will take it. Uh, you have to accept the fact that I have, sir, in fact, sir. brought the Whispering Green here after a year. Corin, uh, uh, sir, I'm, I'm one of those outsiders. Uh, the Whispering Green apparently likes nanos, but likes me and our team the most because no, uh, come in. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to see if she tracks Null. Like, what are so we, like, Jay, 10 feet away? Jay and the rest of the group are back. Are you using Null while yeah. you're back? Yeah. Okay. There's some confusion, but there's four of them back there. I think, I don't think she, she might, like, turn her head Even though you. Null's, like, talking with me? Because you yeah. said she has bare, less interest in us than she does Null. I do, but there's four of them, and they're interacting uh, with Null. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't, I guess, teleconnect with them, so... <sighs> that was going to be my route to convince him, but whatever. Um, No, he's right. We're losing our memory, because we're not from this world at all. We are from a completely different world. 
or maybe the same world but in the past and i don't even remember where i'm from so but they do some of them and they can still contact or, or connect with her and they, it's fading fast and the more we talk to random strangers the worse it gets for us and i don't know why but that's it that's all i have to say i'm sorry corin i didn't mean to interrupt i know it's rude please make a difficulty for persuasion check based on intellect that's not bad Yay. You have rolled nice. a 16. Very well. <sighs> this is extremely <sighs> unorthodox, Corin, and I did expect something from you. It's taken you an entire year to get the Whispering Green here. Oh, but he's been a tremendous help. I mean, he really helped us a lot. He did a, he did a, he did really good. You did good work, man. Thank you. Thank mm. you. <laughs> man, I'm bad at talking. Follow me, and you should get your friends. I, like wave them over. Yeah. I think we we can go. Mm. No command list. Is she still following? Yes, the whispering green is still following you. So, Delvec and Corin will be leading you through this corridor. You can see that um, there are several guards along the way that kind of look like this. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. I like Sith fucking Order of Truth with the Halberds, the Fog. They literally look like, is it like Palpatine's guards with the fucking, the uh, red, the yeah, red drapes? Not like... real. I mean, they kind of look like Dr. Doom, <laughs> closer to Dr. Oh, Doom, shit. I think. Um, just kind of like Scarlet uh, is the color. Um, Praetorian guard. Yeah, and um, you're walking down this Get long nerd. corridor and then, the, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's these guards that are blocking this or sort of ornate door. Um, and, um, you know, they sort of, like, halt, and, uh, Delvic says, Yes, I must speak with the Amber Pope. It is of vital importance. We have with us the Whispering Green and several outsiders. Please, if you could get them this message and allow us passage, that would be very helpful. Thank you. I squeeze Una's hand. I'm so nervous. I'm just gripping BB's hand so tightly right now. Yeah, the guards sort of like talk to each other and then one of them opens up uh, the door and slips inside. It should just take a moment. All right. So, you still Excellent. believe in these outsiders theories then? Well, of course, there's been a lot of discussion about it, and I think that, well, from what I can tell, they seem to be correct. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I believe anything in regards to this. And list. What's Is that? Is this fucker wearing shoelaces or anything? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> shoelaces? Yeah, or a belt holding um, his pants up. Let's see. Trying to prank him. Yeah, one hundred percent. What are you pranking? I think he's and actually where we die. Down. pranking the fucking royal guard. No way. I'll slow time. I'll slow down time. I'll pull his pants down, and then I'll get back to where I was. There's no fucking way. <laughs> but you can't slow it down if you're doing an action, right? He yeah, doesn't. You can. He actually, and you know, I'm not trying to be like a party pooper or anything. He he doesn't. He's just got kind of like these All long, right. flowing robes. It's like slip-on shoes. Then I think about it. I am mad. <laughs> flat tire. Give him a flat tire. Uh, thought is Listen, creation, Corin. right? Yeah. Hey, Corin, I need you to do me a favor and ask Coralie about where she's from. Ask her. Just, her name's Coralie. She's right there. And I point. <laughs> I point at you, but I don't say anything. And <laughs> that's it. That sounds peculiar. Is, is that a yes. rush? I... 
No, it's 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 legit. Like, just ask her where she's from. Ask her about her past life or the one that we came from that we're trying to. Because she seems to remember. I don't remember, but she she does. So there you go. Your name is Coralie. Corin will sort of like walk up to you. I look at him, but I remember Miss Warning, and I'm not going to speak to him unless I absolutely have to. Where are you from? Oh, come on. You got to answer him. I'm trying to... Dude, did you forget I put the... Listen, Corin, I'm sorry. I put the telepathy implant in him. I can listen to him now. We just had a conversation to help him understand. Yes, maybe. you tell him? Tell him what? I don't remember shit about where I'm from. The door is open. Great. I just um, you guys are our weapons. It's not me. I can talk and I can try to do whatever, but you guys, you have the knowledge. Well, we'll tell it to the Pope. Don't. Yeah, I guess we... There's really no going back now. Inside, there's a sort of grandiose, like circular room um, you can see that there's bits of Numenera um, integrated into various parts of the room there are Eon priests all about. There's no throne or anything like that. It doesn't really work like that here. This is a place of knowledge. But there are congregations and groups of people that are sort of communicating. And you can see, um, as Corin points him out to you, this figure... Scarlet robes, um, conversing with several other Eon priests. Um, there's a sort of larger um, bit of Numenera between them. A um, few of them are kind of laughing, and and um, a few of them are looking like they're they have some like large plans um, on screens that are sort of floating by them, projected like into the air, like a hologram kind of a uh, feel to it. Um, and um, Duranet the Sixth, the Amber Pope, turns towards your group. And he uh, raises an eyebrow and he says, ah, these are the outsiders and the Whispering Green. Delvec and Corin. Good work in bringing them to me. You've done your jobs well. The Whispering Green is more intriguing than I have imagined. He's going to study the Whispering Green for a moment, um, taking full attention away from the group and sort of like looking at the Whispering Green, who, by the way, he's even more doing the sort of social, like the butterfly thing here, moving about the room. And um, there's a lot of talk about um, the Nanos know. The Nanos can feel it. Numenera is the world. Escape is Numenera. Creation is the foundation. Thought is creation. The Nanos know. I get kind of like... emo as shit, feeling a little like... just feeling kind of upset, and I walk away, and I try to perceive the room. Is there like something I notice about this room that... besides the Numenera that... We, Something specific, something that would mark a doorway or because she keeps saying the nanos know, but ugh, I'm trying to decipher what it is I know that she keeps talking about. Like, I just. Okay. Boggling my mind. Oh, are we getting a player intrusion? 
Uh, no, no I can't. Sorry. I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh, I think we're getting one from Coralie. No, we're oh. not. No, we're not. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry, I just I was trying to read it, and I. Uh... Okay, fat finger, got it. Well, I don't know if I don't know if that even applies. I mean, it's meta- we're metaphorically lost, but we're not actually lost, right. so I don't know if that would work. Not in this case. Reminding me, I have those. <clears throat> um. Yeah, okay. guys, if we so, got anything, fucking use it. I have a player intrusion uh, that I'd like to use. Lucky break. Ah! I, th- I hope it'll help. I have no idea, but if it can. Jay Gamerson, you are using the player intrusion lucky break for one XP, is that correct? Yeah. Great job, Jay. Very well. Thanks. Um, after you activate this, I think what happens is you don't have to make the roll, Jack Mm Mm-hmm. You can understand that something in this room has garnered the Whispering Green's attention. There's an unpowered device that runs through the um, one of the, there's like I would say probably like two small offshoot rooms. Whispering Green has sort of moved off that way. And there is um, what you would assume is a Numenera that fills this room. It's built into the walls. And that's where they've gone. So she's she's going towards the walls in that direction. Mm -hmm. Uh, She said it out loud or... Uh, no, I, I'm, okay. I'm looking at it. I'm like, and I, I, I go, no command to do the pause. And I'm like, guys, that way. I think there's something that way. I can sense it. She senses it. Something, something powerful. Command. Yes, thank you, no. Um, uh, sh- it's powerful. It's whatever it is. Yeah. Right, right. And I point where she's at, right at the wall. And I'm like, it's on the other side. It's got to be a room. There's got to be a way into there. I don't know how. Probably several guards. I walk over there and I try to see what it is that she's looking at. Yeah, I'll walk over. Uh, no commands. Open yep. the map. Yeah, there's Can a I lot get the of, menu? Um, yeah. You go over there. Uh, or I please make an intellect unrecognized command. Please make an int- unrecognized command. So, so, okay, sorry. Coralai, That's it. please make an intellect check. In regards to understanding Numenera, the difficulty is eight. Can she get an asset with my help? Because I pointed it out. No. Okay. I think I was staying over in the Amber Pope room, uh, and then I hear the understanding Numenera, and then I make my way in there. Um, I have any assets, Null? Can I? You have no assets. Can I use you as an asset, Null? Unrecognized command. What are you? What is that? I don't know, but he just started freaking out when I walked close to the wall. That was because I was saying the command center. I think. Try, try. I don't know. You have rolled a natural one. Fuck. Would right. me using Lucky Break here cancel out whatever's about to happen to her in any way? No. Okay. I'll I'll give up an experience anyway. I'm okay. not taking the intrusion. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. No, it's, okay. but... no, it's good. No, I have a very serious question to ask you. Um. I would like to gauge how far away I think that this thing, this powerful thing in the other room is, like how thick the wall is to the other side. 
can somebody can I, else try? Can I clarify something real quick, just out of game? Is this like a, like, we've, we've gone into kind of a giant room and there's maybe like a middle pedestal or something and the Whispering Green has like gone over where we can see separate rooms? So, or um, is it like there's just two, I, there's two small circular rooms that are kind of like branching off from this right. circle. Uh, right. And the Whispering Green has gone into one of those rooms. Okay, cool. cool. Can we still like... Followed. Yeah, we've all we can we all see them? Is it like a see-through thing, or we've like seen a door that they've gone no, through? You've seen it. It's like an arch. There isn't even a door. Okay. 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 So, is this thing on the other side of the wall, though, or is it in the room? You perceived the room to be the Numenera. Oh. Shit. And then there's just an arch here, specifically an arch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what the Whispering Green. That's what they are looking at. I walk Whispering up to her and I start in the room. Okay, yeah. so I'm also in the room. Okay. So I walked up to the Whispering Green, so I don't know if you would see that, Jay. I yeah, walked up yeah. there as well. I think I think we would go in as well now. What does okay. it what does it look like? The room? Sorry. Um, so sticking much with the theme of this place, I think the interior here is there's sort of sticking to like these um golds and reds and sort of like these turquoise colors, right? Like the yeah. patina of a of a you know of a bronze sculpture, that kind of greenish, turquoiseish okay. kind of color, um, and uh, there um, the room is mostly green, and then there's like gold and red accents, but you can see it's all asymmetrical, and there are um, all these um, indentations all along the surface of the wall of the room, including the um, the ceiling. I look for a spot to put a crystal, like the guy put in his, tel- like when he made the portal. I mean, uh, it doesn't look the same. Like um, even on the archway though? No. Okay. No. Doesn't look the same. There's indentations. Think maybe golf ball sized. What are they shaped like? Are they shaped like Numenera? Or... What is the shape of a Numenera? A lot of things can be a Numenera. Okay. I just meant any that we had on us, but I don't have any, so I, I wouldn't be able to look. Uh, sorry, Cypher, I guess. Yeah. Um, like, what about I would Twitch say chat? that they're. I would say that they're all uniform. And okay. imagine, imagine if you had some Play-Doh and you just took a golf ball and <laughs> plopped it in okay. there. Okay. And then, then took it out. That that shape that was remaining would be what the like, intents hey, look yeah. like. What the fuck did we put in the walls? Hey, Corin, do you know what you put in these walls in here? There's like a bunch of indents and there's a really strong presence in here. I've never seen this place before. Come on, man. You got to get someone in here that knows it then. I'm in the presence of the Amber Pope. Didn't you want to speak to the Amber Pope? Yeah, if you could, she's in here though. She came straight to this room, so if he wants to see her, she he's gonna have to come in here. You guys have been activating null, and time has slowed down. There's yeah. only been like less than a minute has passed, yeah. you know. Like, and I'm like, come on, man, get yeah. up. You guys are like all rushing and shit. Um, the Amber Pope would have followed, believe it or not, would have followed the Whispering Green, and. As the Amber Pope moves, all the like little flocks of groups are fucking like converging yeah. with him. Like oh, he's in here now. Oh. He's interested yeah. in something. We must learn. You know, like that's what's happening. So like he he's walking in. Imagine a king. You know, being yeah. interested in something. Like all of the the flunkies and everything would be moving <laughs> along and like, oh yes, yes, your Majesty. You know. Um, it's that kind of a vibe. Um, and he would have walked in, and he, and he says, This is a special place that you have so brazenly entered. What is it? Forgive us, your holiness. What is it? Your holiness, really? It's a fucking pope. Uh, it's not inaccurate. A fucking pope. I am no holy man. I'm a man of knowledge. Okay, it's inaccurate. Forgive us then all the same. What does this room do, if we can ask? 
It is an artifact. Right. He's, what does it do? He's walked over to the Whispering Green, and he says, ah, she speaks of the data sphere. Yeah. Don't stop. I don't know what she's talking about. What is the data sphere? You have a oh. nano in your group. Uh, I, I didn't even bother. I didn't even bother telling him. I'm sorry. Um, I'll leave that all to you. But we do have a riddle. Do you have... Are you good at riddles? You gotta be good at riddles. You're the Pope. Wait, what's the data sphere? I mean, uh, there's a lot of stuff everywhere, and I can see it. And nanos can see it, and I don't know if this guy can see it, but I assume if he's a Pope, he can see it. Um, you can interact with these nanos and see like that. I just, like, they just shot up. You don't see that, though. I, I see that. And, uh... That's how I can create stuff. Can I do a simple hedge magic, like create a rock? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how I, I create stuff. <laughs> and then I like do this and it just disappears in my hand, but I see like a trickling of like light fall. But, but why do they call it the data sphere? Is it I, code? It's... Are you interacting with the code? Um, that's Nothing. a good question. I never thought about it like that. And I look at the Pope, like, am I, can we interact with creation of the world like that um so the whispering green um is sort of running through the um the statements that she was making before creation is the foundation thought is creation the nanos know the nanos can feel it the world is creation Numenera is the world. Escape is Numenera. He heard that too, right? He had to have heard that. Creation. If, Foundation. If I am understanding what the Whispering Green is saying, there is a... Well, there is a a way of thinking, a, a belief amongst some of the Eon Priests that this world, this ninth world, it's only a few, mind you, but that this world was created through the power of thought through the power of creativity. Whenever the anyone, foundation? whatever anyone has an idea, whenever anyone has a belief, some believe that there is a deed to the future. There is a creation that happens. And if enough people believe in whatever it is that is created, it will manifest itself in another reality. You're all knowledgeable hope. Your knowingness. And I look at the group. We are outsiders. We are from an age past. We're from a world previous to your ninth one. So much so that it was believed in our world that we created this one. How did from you our, get that, though? How did our how did thought we... oh. and our creation and our creativity. We are here from there 
and we can't get back. What did it look like whenever we left? Did we go through a door to get here? Do you know? I don't remember. Oh, shit. And... That could be our exit. Do you have a Numenera, like, um, what pocket, um, Technome used before, like, an ability to share my thoughts with you? A telepathic implant? Yeah. I do. Um, do you mind? Please make an intellect check. Difficulty six in regards to persuasion. I'll help. You have two assets. I will use effort. We have used our own Numenera to get to this world. You have rolled a 19. Nice. We need to get back. So, um, the Amber Pope walks up to you, Coralie, and says, place this on the back of your head. I can turn it on. You do it? Oh yeah. Okay. He does the same thing. It's um it's circular. Um it probably uh is like a flat disc um that just kind of sticks into like you know, like the base of your brain kind of um place. Right at the point where your head and neck neck connect. And um it, like powers it on. What is it that you wish to show me or tell me, outsider? I, th- I share with him everything that I've been thinking. My life, The uh, I think about the game loading up. I think about um, how I can't remember my husband's face, but I know who he is. I think about all of that and I go through everything in detail about other people um, you also I, have notes if you forget and I think about all of these things I actually rolled really well I remember pretty much everything I did write stuff down but um, uh, yeah so I think about all of these things and then um, please help us think of a way home amazing about his creation. Never would I have imagined the world in such a state. A game? We are some sort of game to you. Is that how you see us? Not anymore. I don't think anybody realized that when they created Numenera, it would be like this. A mere game. I don't think that had ever crossed the mind of any Eon priest in all of the Order of Truth's existence. (laughs) To be honest, where we're from is probably a game to somebody else too. Will you help us? 
You are standing in the place that may be able to help you. This room is a bridge to different realities. Like a stargate? What is a... I think of it. Ah, different, but similar. Unfortunately, this room has a price. What's the cost? One must remain behind to form the bridge. It has only been used three times that I can remember. You can't just convince all your priests to think really hard about an exit. We'll never be able to know the reality as any of you do, even through this device. Sure? Yeah. Delvec, Corin, can you bring out some of the the other artifacts? Corla, you all right? Yeah. What happened? Uh, did you convince him? Huh? Yeah, I did. Um, this is like a, a stargate. This is a gate home. We can use it. Um, no commands. Wrong. Um, one wrong? of us has to stay behind for it to work. I'll stay. You don't know what you're losing. I do. Yeah, I do. Wait, what? One of us has to stay. We can't. We can't make a deal with them. We can't like bargain for this. What kind of? It's my favorite what? place. Oh, you get used to it. Pocket, okay, you're muted, by the way. I just realized. <laughs> Guys, this. Come on. You said you don't know what you're leaving, but I, I know, I don't know. I don't remember, I don't remember. That's why you, that's not fair. I'm that, the only I, one who can technically make this decision. I remember what I'm leaving behind. You don't know. It, it, maybe if you knew, you wouldn't want to just give it up so willingly. I would never forgive myself. Well, maybe we should at least like, I don't know, do, is there some sort of game where we could determine best out of three? Oh, what? Never. Drawing straws? We could we could do that. Uh, could Rochambeau? Do you want to have straws? No, rock, paper, so scissors. I don't want to do that. Uh, rock, paper, rock, paper, rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Um, I'm not... Uh, I, I feel the least bad about staying here. That's the thing. Like, I if I stay... This, and I could also... I also have a player. I've got, I've got the player intrusion. I could probably maybe somehow wire it so it it doesn't have to take a person wait did we but say it's gonna kill a person i don't know i mean take a person to bri- oh. to to, oh, to okay. work it i don't know someone has to stay she said so. no one will be someone. killed the device is a bridge someone must form the link 
Does it have to be? It has to be somebody who remembers home. I'm the only one. We still remember some stuff. Does it still count if the chat? Can they... On like, a can home. <clears throat> can an artifact stay? Yeah, can we sacrifice the chat? Could I? Like, like modify it to connect the two? No, could like, I... the, the... yeah, I could probably modify it to then have the realities of chat. Bridge, maybe? I Bridge. Maybe there's no fucking way Our of staying reality. here. Can we try that? Can we combine like our intrusions to try and make that happen? I I have a bunch of stuff I haven't used that could work, right? Are these intrusions part of this game? Yes. Yes. I have one too. Yeah. Yeah. For two to no function, sort of maybe. Device? They allow us to alter our circumstances and to change the reality around us in specified change ways. Change reality itself. Amazing. An innate ability, yeah. So why don't we try that? Why don't we try making chat okay. the link to our to yeah. our world? I'll, wait, I'll pull it out and wait. activate chat. Before I we do that, warn wait. You. wait. I must what? warn you. Okay. Too much. It takes a very long time for this device to <sighs> accumulate enough power to activate. How long? Well, you'll be able to make one trip. If you were to require a second use, it would take years. Wait, so it'll take years for all of us to even go through it? No. No, it'll take there, years before It'll take years stays. for anyone else. Your Highness. Oh. You we see, can't leave them behind. You can see how we don't, we can't stay behind. You, being all knowledgeable and powerful here in Key, will be a fraction if we are to, if one of us is to stay, because then we will be idolized for being able to bend reality. We can't stay. This is not for us. We can't stay. None of us can stay. You should consider the world that you leave behind. It's not my world. It's none of ours. No. It's yours, and you can have it. But, and hear me out. You guys can't stay. You remember enough. I don't. I don't know about Gamerson, but the rest of you remember enough. But we still have one more mission we haven't completed. If I have, or whoever stays has years to come, like to complete it, which is Jax Castler. Katie. Her name's Katie. Kate. I'm sorry. I just. I keep forgetting. It's okay. Katie. I, I just remember Jax, I'm sorry. Uh, to, to get Katie back, then by the time it's time to go through again, then hopefully we could maybe find someone else to sacrifice staying behind. Or I just stay for a little bit longer. Or we send out a message to everybody. Every player who's stuck. How, how are we gonna do that though? No. Group chat, mass message. Unrecognized command. Fuck. I don't think we can. Global chat? Unrecognized command. Play a game without a global chat. But. You guys, do you, did you guys, and I point to Coralie and the poem, I'm like, did you guys like use your telepaths? Did you guys do something there? Because you, you just came out saying a whole bunch of stuff. I'm assuming you talked to someone. Was it Corin? Because he's kind of full of shit sometimes. I'm looking at Corlai. Like, I did ta- you talk? To no, him? I talked to the Pope. Yeah, he walked up and put the thing on her head. Yeah. What did, oh, right. That's what that was. I thought he was patting you. It was really weird. But did you, what did you share with him? Everything. Like I, about you? Yeah, I thought about home. I shared you, I shared Myth, I shared Jay, I shared Vio, I shared Oh yeah, Myth. Oryx, I shared everybody. That's a whole that's a whole bunch of people. But if he has your memories Coralie. Can't he stay behind? Please make oh. a difficulty six intellect check in regards to memory. You have one asset.
I will use. I use this effort. Oh God, yes. You have rolled a sixteen. You still retain those memories. So, if he has your memories, isn't that enough to get us back, all of us? He says no one will remember the world quite like we do, which means me. Why don't you remember it while he's... You're still... Are you still linked with him? Yeah. Could you just broadcast again as he's linking, and then he will send us back? I look to the Pope. I'm sorry, say that again? I just looked at the Pope as no, if... No, no, myth. I'm, no, I'm myth. So the plan was that, or what Ulrich says is that, is there a way that she can broadcast these memories <clears throat> and then he can have the projection of her memories while he's linking this artifact so he actually is the only one who stays behind in lieu of one of us, in lieu of Coralie. Even with the devices that we have, the Numenera, Nothing will be able to transmit the feelings and the thoughts that you hold dear. The bridge okay, will not how, be stable. How are you going to keep the memories if we just keep losing them over, over a short period of time? Well, that's why we have to go now. That's where we, we have to go. Yeah, that, that's a, why don't that's we just whole, not that's decide point. who goes through and let it be a surprise or all of you want to stay, right? None of us are going to go through if all of us keep fighting. I want to stay, but three of you want to stay, so... None of us... All of us are going to offer to be the one to stay, because none of us would leave someone behind. Do they remember enough <clears throat> to be the Link? I can, I can try. Do we want okay. to try seeing if we can modify this to use the tablet for the... I'd like to try to modify it. Yeah, yeah. we should try to modify it. Before we do time. that, wait, one last thing. I think we need to teleport to get KPP. Katie, Jax, whatever. Ooh, oh. There's no way, I mean, unless one of these guys takes us to her, there's no way I can teleport with this. They have well, surely they have... They have portals. They have Numenera. Yeah. That's up to him, though. That's up to... And I point to the Pope. I'm like, that's, that's up to him. Please. I'm sorry. We don't have any way at the moment. We house many different... Ciphers and artifacts and oddities, all different sorts of Numenera here. There have been devices. There have been artifacts that have been able to do what you ask. To resurrect someone. But we don't have any at the moment. They're rare. I'm very sorry. Hey, Corin. Yes. Do you, by chance, think there's any way I could just join you guys in your quest for knowledge for a little while? Uh, I, I can't speak for the rest of the Order, but if you would like to join the Order of Truth, I'm sure that the Amber Pope would be most interested in any outsiders attempting to join. Do you, do you think I should ask him? Do you think it's a good time? Oh, yes! Definitely. Um, so... What if I choose to join you for a while in your search for knowledge and perhaps this Numenera that's very rare? and in the process, potentially find a way to get Katie um, back. And 
I could I think I could help with knowledge based tasks. I'm I I could help with healing. I'm good with healing. Uh I could be useful. I could make myself very useful around Please here. Please make <laughs> an intellect check based on persuasion. Difficulty 6. You have one asset. What does um bonus do? You do not have a bonus. No, no, I'm saying what does it do, though? It's a straight okay. plus to a number instead of getting it multiplied by three. Oh, okay. Get them in certain situations. We haven't really come across one. You have rolled a 13. The Amber Pope says, you would be welcomed into the order. You can't let her do that. She won't remember how to get home. I, but see, Did when I get Katie there? back, she might. Katie's dead. But you wanted, I thought we, I thought we wanted to get her back. There's no way to resurrect her. I was going to carry her, fireman carry her body out of here. Yeah. These bodies aren't real. It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know if that would help. We don't know. We, we, you don't know what happened to her on the other side, so maybe it would have woken her up. I don't know either. I'm, I don't know. I think we should just try and see what we can do with this tablet and take it from there. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Let's try first. There's a lot more people remembering the world in chat than there is standing in this room. Yeah, the power of so many people, and maybe if, uh, if all of them at once are contributing and sharing stories or memories or feelings of what it feels like to be home. I With all of us, even that, Kate here. I mean, that's gotta be more than just one of us staying behind, right? Yeah, I think it's worth a shot. Let's let's just try. I pull out the chat. Your Popedom, could you assemble your students and... I'm gonna need a lot of help. I reach out and I take Pocket's hand. Look, I know she said some shit to you, but you're amazing and you have a great life that you don't want to leave behind and I know you can't remember it right now. I mean, but we all have that. It's not just me. Who gets to determine the value of one person over another? I think that if... Uh, if I make this decision, I'm not going to regret it. Like, like you might for who knows how long. It could be weeks that you remember this. I, I don't even really remember. A, I don't even know how long we've been here. I feel like I've just been here forever. And we'll That's why we're all going together. If we can, I, I, I will help where I can. I'm not very good at this stuff, though. You're great at this stuff. So... You're trying to use your device perfection, player intrusion. Yeah, yeah. And and if I could boost it, but it's an artifact, so I can't. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to use the device. Ulrich Shiloh, please make an intellect check in regards to crafting Numenera. Difficulty... Six. I will help. You have two assets. One second. Okay. I have other things, but I can't... F- oh, here it is. What's the uh, difficulty? The difficulty is six. You have two assets. You are using your pressing your luck special ability. Is that Uh, correct? Let me... It triggers a GM intrusion. I have an asset? You have... Two assets. Uh, okay. 
Um, difficulty six. Uh, I'm using two effort. I have two assets. Difficulty two then. It should add. It should add it already, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, but it, it'll only be difficulty two, right? Yep. You have rolled a three. Unfortunately, this device seems beyond you. You try to rig up something to sort of be almost like an iPod seat you know, and put the tablet in there. Um, but trying to make both pieces of technology work together forces you to waste a bunch of time. Um, several of the other Eon priests are conversing. Stuff too. Yeah, like conversing back and forth. And um, you just know that this is beyond you, and the, the combined knowledge in the room here isn't enough to help you. Did it destroy the chat? No. Can I try? You're going to try and Craft create? And, yeah. Okay. Yep. I, I'm curious if this is relevant here. I have inspirational recall that says you recall an important detail from a previous encounter, perhaps something you don't even remember noticing at the time that su suggests a successful course of action for your current situation. Would that be relevant? Maybe not for me fixing it entirely, but recognizing like, oh, maybe we can try it this way and then we can make another attempt. Um, because I've watched them work with it so many times in the past. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's what okay. the ability does. Um, okay, great. Okay. So yeah, that'll cost you one XP. Awesome. And um, now Coralie's going to try. Coralie, please make a difficulty six intellect roll in regards to crafting Numenera. The, you have three assets. I will also use effort, but it only lets me do two assets. Consider putting two effort in as a compensation. Okay. Oh. You have rolled a 16. It takes you all a few hours to do this um, with great minds working together. You fashion, I'll let you kind of describe what it looks like. Some kind of interface to place the chat in. I immediately thought of the Twitch glitch. <laughs> and then it just sits in it. <laughs> okay. So it's got like the indents and then we just stick it in there and it sits oh, in there in the and middle. it lights up purple. Yeah, right in the middle. The right oh in the eyes. God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were cheesy, but that's what wow. I first thought of. So yeah, wow. Yeah. I'm surprised it wasn't Vector. I make Vector. I know. <laughs> that would have been adorable. Um, yeah, and I think... Uh, yeah, it's just like it it glows, it lights up, and we stick the chat right in there. Um, yeah. Do you I power on so. the chat, uh, Jay? Yeah, yeah, I'll do the required inputs. Do you say anything to chat before you get started? Uh, I'll look at, like, um, Coralie or Ulrich. Like, uh, Are you turning it on? Yeah, it's on. I think it's, I think I've like turned okay. it on. Okay, see? I kind of want Chat's gonna power on. You can all open up your chat. Oh. Hey, uh, everybody, um, we need your help. Can you guys explain? I don't, we need oh, you to okay. think. Um, we need you to be the link between this world and ours. So please, 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 memories of home, what it feels like to be home. Remind just, us of where we should be create something powerful, a, something sensory, a memory, a smell, a feeling, anything that we can use as a link. If you, yeah, post something that is of home, of help. Uh, 
Something, maybe, r remind me who Vio is. <laughs> remind us of home. Pizza. <laughs> I miss pizza. <laughs> yeah, tell us your favorite thing about home. Oh, I do remember this. J Gamerson. Hey. Hmm. I remember that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, hot chat. Fresh cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Which one? Morning po post coffee. Coffee time. Smithsonian. Spotify. Institute. It's a lot. And of iTunes. Stuff. Think of me meaning pee pee at Pax East. <laughs> They're dropping a chair, making friends with. Okay, cats. <sighs> Putting I... my daughter to bed. Um, what do we what do we do what, do, what happens now I don't, no, no, what do I, I don't do? even know what a lot of this is Coraline knows how to power on the device oh uh yeah I just um I touch the twitch chat um and then I probably do some hand gestures to kind of like move it like I did with the regular interface and I turn it on The room begins to shake. Several of the Eon priests all around exclaim in surprise, some cheer. It's working! It's working! I've never seen it turned on before! The Amber Pope says, A bridge without a bridge. Outsiders are truly amazing. Thank you. Like yelling it at him. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you much. Jack. Thank you. The room uh, starts to spin, kind of like a, a centrifuge. Slow oh. at first and then starts to gain speed. You can see all the little divots all through the wall begin to connect with lines in very complex geometric shapes all about illuminating each individual divot has its own complexities and it kind of resembles the different constellations in space. And you can see that they're different than what you uh, astronomer-like people would expect. Some are the same. Some are different. But they start to change. And they start to look like home. You all get pushed back to the wall because of the centrifugal force. And everything outside the room blurs. You lose all sight beyond the room. And that's where we're going to end the show. Good job, chat. <laughs> we did it. Thanks, guys. Fuck, man. Chat did it. <laughs> oh, we so did it, man. It's so awesome. I love Sacrificing it. Sacrificing chat. Every stream yeah, of stream. Yeah. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All Good of shit, Wack. Stuck in Numenera. Yeah, that was incredible. Good shit, guys. Well done, everybody. But Good now shit, I have so chat. many questions. Good job, chat. <laughs> God. Well done. Woo! 
That was super fucking wholesome. Cheese, cheese, cheese and rice. That was so yes. good. Cheese and rice. That was the like best for... possible way for that to work. Yeah, that was the be- that was the best ending. Also, just like for such a really intense, heartbreaking show, it was nice to ha- it was nice that we got a cookie at the end. You know? Yeah. 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 There were a lot of different ways that could have went. I gave yeah, you no a lot. I gave you a lot of different yeah. options. Yeah. I thought when you told me that that like somebody had to remember the way home. I'm like, that's me. I'm the only one that fucking remembers it. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, I was like, I have to stay because I have to power the device because I gotta boost it. Was that a fucking riddle? Was she giving us a riddle? I figured that out. I, I just really need, to, do need to know. <laughs> so <laughs> try her. Did we have solved it? Also, so, was I right about her? So a riddle? there's a, a bunch of questions I'm not going to answer. Um, <laughs> like a whole mess of questions I'm not going to answer. Number Come one, on, chat, chat's going to like ask about the aftermath. Nothing will be revealed. That's 100% up to, up to your you. minds what happens. Um, I like leaving questions <laughs> at the end of these um, and uh, sort of getting people on a path and letting them experience the journey. Um, but I will say that uh as far as what she was saying she was just dropping hints as to what this world was yeah i had so I she had, just she just knew it was a game was what i thought just had, i was but... waiting for the monologue to be like i know how to, like i was just so excited to be like we i had to like do a meta monologue i know like, and I was... the video game is blah, 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 blah. i was like so excited <laughs> i was sitting up here like it's creation escape is new manera do we yeah. have to play the game what's like, the foundation she's, she's what do we have to create the meta right now of what yeah. this whole place is <laughs> Fuck, man. yeah i really I was, it was great i loved it it was so great that was good but good job everybody god that was um, amazing i've been fiddling with all my fidget toys oh, this whole oh. time because i just been <laughs> this entire time if you gave her a cipher or oddity, she would have answered a question. I fucking knew it. I my, gave her a cipher three times. My own anxiety ate my brain. I was like, no, what it like? What if you're remembering it wrong? And she eats into everyone. Like you're gonna get everybody killed. Yeah, there's. Um, I was terrified. I was terrified she was gonna be like, oh cool, a, vis- a visage thing, and then so, turn into your husband. And so yeah, oh, that's, a, that's a that's a thing I, I will. Like, no. That's yeah. a thing I will just answer, um, <sighs> because of the nature of null. Um, she was more interested in the situation, at least for a time. There was yeah. sort of a countdown yeah. for her, um, where her normal stuff would have sort of taken over. Oh, is that why you kept asking if we were stalling for time still? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. There was a time, there was basically a time limit for how My long you could keep her attention. A, <laughs> I, a stalling no. <laughs> can so I great. ask, yeah. can I ask everybody a question? Yeah. How do you, how do you think it ended? How do we think it ended? Yeah, can we go around and just say? You mean like how no? what happened to us? You after, don't want to do or? that, Jay? No, yeah, I'll start. Like... We're dead. You think so? That's some soma shit. Oh. Oh, that's awful. I, that's my first thought, dude. All right, some okay, soma okay. shit. All right. We're. I think we are. I think we're gone. Can I be candid about what my character would have done in that situation? I think my character, like me as that character who forgot, like it was, I failed so horribly, I pretty much forgot my life. Yeah. Um, and by then probably did. Um, there were a lot of important roles that were made. Yeah. I will say yeah. that PB's role luck for this game really changed <laughs> a lot of shit. Especially oh the God. end. Oh, yeah, no, I think you yeah, that was not, a great role. Not yeah. just the end, the whole thing. She, yeah, she was killing. She the rolled time. ridiculous. Was he gonna kill me? No, you can't answer that. Don't answer I'm that. I don't know. He would have fucking murdered me. I, I, I would have been out of the show. I will. I will uh, say well, that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I will say that y- your your roles, carrot. your roles changed a lot of stuff. Oh, changed a it lot of sad. stuff. I had that session where I failed once, but it was all combat, right? So that was. Well, I said when, yeah. before we started it that I was n- really not going to focus on combat. That's not what mm. Numenera is about. Numenera is oh, about exploration yeah. and and discovery uh-huh. and, and not whatnot. starting fights. It is, <laughs> but it's bad. fun kicking yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, combat's really good. Like that's also the thing about it. It's like it is great. It's so good at 
exploration and discovery. Especially and, uh, once you get skills. Or I say destiny, but the, uh, and also like, <laughs> <laughs> like the book's got him. Uh, but the, but yeah, when it comes to like combat, it's also fun to just get into combat. It's a really great system. <laughs> What I was yeah, saying was for my system. character, though, is that I probably, if I were fully in character in that moment, like who I am, but did not remember where I was, I don't think there's any way I would accept that portal as a person. I don't, unless I had some inkling of who I was. And now right. I fear if I step through that portal, will I remember or will I still have amnesia? Yeah, that's a really scary remember? thought. Yeah. 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 And so it's like one of those, I do I want to go too. back and not for, not remember anyway? So... That's why it's yeah. like, for my character, I was like, this is why my character would legitimately be willing to stay behind. Yeah. If he had to, but luckily. Yeah, I'm glad you guys uh, found me last session, too. That was, uh, that was clutch. When you went sleepwalking into the ocean, pretty much? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that was terrifying. I'm going to go back and watch all the shit I missed now. Cause I, <laughs> right now we could go watch. I want to go rewatch scenes. your section. Yeah. I need a breather first, though. I'm yeah. so like emotionally yeah, couple, raw from this. Oh my gosh, I'm. T it's too fresh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, this was so good. I don't yeah. know. What I Thanks, think happened, you guys. Nathan, I think Thanks. I, I think I probably would have woken up in the hospital in Vermont. Yeah, I think so too. In a I don't small know where hospital, I am. not knowing where I am. My family would be there. Do you think we would remember what happened? Um, that's the scariest part right there. If you came back and didn't remember, probably that not, was so right? Awful. And the craziest thing is like, it's like that Black Mirror episode. Was did it all actually happen, or was it like your? I know I would never, I would never do VR again. I would know that. Yeah, they'd be like, okay. they'd be like, hey, Cord, you did, you did VR, and you went to stream, and then we brought you to the hospital. But and chat I'd be like, would remember. Never again. That's exactly why I didn't. Have yeah, you right, guys? Chat would tell us. Have you guys happened. ever seen? It's uh, like that. Risk... It's like that. I'm sorry, PV. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's like that. Ron Swanson using a computer scene when he finds out like he can <laughs> he, throws he can start yeah you see the Google Earth he's like <laughs> and then he just walks in dumpster just the whole computer goes in the exactly. dumpster that's what I would do um yeah. have any of you seen Risk Cutters a love story yes I love that movie okay so okay there uh, it's similar it's similar where it's kind of ambiguous and you don't know if they remember it or if it was real or if it was a dream and all they do at the end is she just like looks over in the hospital bed looks at him he looks at her and they're both wondering it and then she just smiles at him and that's what i feel like yeah would have some like sort us. of like donnie darko type shit where at the end they're like some only some knew what happened and the rest were like oh life is wonderful i check discord and i've got a message from each of you and it's just yeah a smiley just face. like oh just a God. smiley face yeah and then there's like, me going who are you yeah, right. Like, what are you guys? Like, yeah. oh, no. like, fuck. Yeah. I don't think you would forget. Oh, man, maybe it we should have left her as the bridge if she doesn't remember It makes remember me wonder, us. though. Because so, I feel like yeah. if you got amnesia in the game, that you'd start getting it out of it. Like, but the only reason that you were losing it is because of, A, the rolling in the interface in the game. And like, yeah. how, all the NPCs. Yeah, and how, you know, you were failing your roles. So I feel like if if you did forget, I feel like it would come back to you after a while. Yeah, after after time. Of yeah. Life. At least that's, that's why what I, I said oh. it's some soma shit. Yeah, I usually those like are our permanent endings, existences. Yeah. And now we've intertwined them with ourselves again. Like, was our consciousness stuck in the game and we returned to our bodies, or was <gasps> were we just separations of our consciousness from our bodies because of that? These oh are the God. types of questions I will not answer. Would I go to jail? <laughs> you will when I interrogate you. <laughs> Interesting question. Hell yeah, you'd go to jail. I should have stayed behind then, assholes. <laughs> Ooh, didn't think of that. Listen, if yeah. things went awry, all right, the, the, the Pope was getting the old so I would have gone to jail. I don't think that would have happened. I would have shanked the fucking Pope, okay? Then you <laughs> the Pope. Then you would have been the bridge. <laughs> Adam, then you would have been the bridge. Yes, yeah, yeah. Jack. Yeah, Look Thanks. yourself in, we're outie. Thanks, so. chat, for being such a good yeah, bridge. Thank you. Those those memories were so beautiful to read. Yeah, that was yeah. incredibly powerful. I was actually keeping an eye on the chat, by the way, just to see what was being said in there. If people were lazy about what they put in there, yeah, <laughs> things Nathan, were going to go hand. different. Things were going to go great. different. Um, but yeah, wonderful show, everybody. Really? Did you hear that, chat? You changed it. You changed yeah. it. Uh, MVPs. Let's, chat. Uh, let's go around the room. 
And let's do some uh, shout outs to wrap things up. PB? Yes. Hi, I'm Pumpkinberry. Uh, you can find me at Twitch and Twitter at Pumpkinberry. Uh, I play a lot of narrative games, stuff that gives me feels. I cry a lot. I cried today. I also sometimes fall off my chair when I'm playing scary games. 90% of the scary time. Game. 90% of the time. Not really. It's really only the last like two games that I've played. Seriously, in all of my time streaming, I've fallen out of my chair like three times. Two of it happened to be in the last week. <laughs> Or They're two, uh, whatever. Every time. Yeah, it's yeah. My, I thought I broke my ass last oh. week. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> anyway. So how did this happen? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, no, please. Yeah. Right. Did you fucking did you fall out of something? God, did I what have I told you the chair? times I've answered the door in like cosplay <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> and the time the fire alarm went off and I was in my flight suit and no oh one. God. And I was standing there and I was like, please just ask me because I have a good. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody said anything. They just looked at each other like, oh, what is going on? And I was like, do I just? out and tell them no yeah it was awful and awkward oh, anyway girl. i'm awful and awkward please go follow me and oh. check me out at twitch.tv slash pumpkin thank you funny stuff thank you people also i did an episode with jay on his amazing podcast which you can now find on spotify and apple ah, memories of home wow <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much great oh god sorry okay. yeah that's it i'm good Hi, I'm Pocket. I work on cosplay. I'm still working on cosplay. I am I muted? Okay, yep. I just had to make oh. sure. <laughs> um, I'm I'm probably the most awkward when it comes to muting myself and talking for five minutes. But I've been working on cosplay. I'm still in that crunch for BlizzCon now. So uh, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash Pocket, Pocket on Twitter, and Pocket Official on Instagram. And I had a blast. I got to see uh, Katie at TwitchCon. That was super fun. We played hooky and tweeted it out. Um, and I got to see some of you that actually came by and said hi to me, so I appreciate it. It was really, really nice knowing that people found me from Table Story. So, thank you. And thank you for having me on the show. It, I, I would cry, but I'm not very, like, overtly emotional. It's like if a tear happens, I, like, try to suck it back up. Man, that <laughs> tucking, tucking my daughter into bed got me. I can't yeah. remember who that was, but you wrecked me real hard. I thought, I thought you meant that, and then I was like, Maybe he has no. a fucking daughter? I know. No. I thought that for a second, too. Like, no, I was what are you, just, like, walk her away out. while we're over? What the fuck? <laughs> like, how many times have I been over? Like, I gotta go bring her to the vet. <laughs> this is over. my daughter. <laughs> bring her to the child <laughs> Hey, Victor. Oh, my God. No. I love you. I love that thing so much. Me, too. Oh, it, it talks to chat now. When subs happen, he gets excited. Thank you, Kumiko. <laughs> uh, the ultimate the monetization. <laughs> Does it work for Table Story? Let's I too it. monetize my pets. <laughs> uh, thank you, Pocket. Well, I love him. Um, Nega Oryx. Hi, I'm Nega Oryx. I'm very sick and very emotional today. This was a lot, and I don't think the day quill made it any easier. Uh, I'm a full time. Streamer, I play single player narrative driven games and a lot of simulation games like The Sims and Stardew Valley. So come on by, but I'm finally not sick anymore and I'm streaming again. Um, I'm also doing more tabletop RPG stuff coming up soon. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'm doing voice acting stuff. So yay, lots of exciting stuff. Follow along on social media if you want to hear updates of lots of cool stuff that I'm doing. Thank you so much for having me on this. This was an experience and it was very special to me and I'm going to cry forever about it. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, myth. Thanks for not leaving me behind. You're very welcome. Oh man. This is this is this has been an emotional ride. Um, and I just thank each and every one of you at home for being a part of it. And I thank each and every one of you a part of Table Story and everybody here in the cast for having me uh, along and playing with me by my side. Uh, it was a very heavy, heavy game for me. Uh, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the experience. It was really great. Uh, and yeah, cathartic is the word that I would use for it. And uh, it was uh, eye-opening in so many uh, levels. Uh, 
as well as emotionally. So um, it's just, it was really great. So thank you guys. Thank you. And I, you know, I don't have anything else to say. I'm kind of speechless. So thanks for, uh, thanks all my new friends here and uh, all of you out there. It was great. That's it. You can find me on Twitch or whatever. It doesn't matter. But I just wanted to say thank you. Go follow Myth, everybody. Go make it happen. Do it. Give everybody a follow. Um, thank you, Myth. Thank you, Mostly. Jay. Hello! It's me, your boy, Skinny Penis. Um, <gasps> I have played the Johnny. Uh, no! You can't show it! We're gonna get banned! <laughs> it's Fuck. a carrot! She's got a carrot shaped like a dick, and a she's gonna get us banned penis. for this. Oh, Fuck. Uh, um, so I now where is uh, PB? Put the carrot away. One of the co-owners of the now banned Table Story channel. Uh, it's been a great ride for all of you. Uh, much like Pocket said, I, I said this on my show that I DM on Thursdays yesterday, but I met a lot of you at uh, TwitchCon, and a lot of you were awesome. Uh, the amount of you that came up and like specifically talked about the Dread show. There are so many people that came up and talked about Dread, which was so cool. Um, but uh, this campaign was awesome. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to come check me out, I'm streaming to put my cats through college. Um, one of them's on the couch back there. Can't show you, but he's there. Believe me. Um, and please join our Discord. Come check out all the other amazing shows that we run, because we do like six a week. Is it six a week or five a week right now? Wax going to be like, it's three. <laughs> Let's, we just... Don't even wax like face palm. Oh man, we I throw also 30, 32 shows a week. Oh man, how does he not know? Oh, oh my God. Between all 417 shows. Oh, today we only run 3,287 of them. Oh. Today during his stream, someone was like, Jay, when does the new uh, <laughs> Harry Potter show start? And I was like, there's no fucking way. And he was like, uh, <laughs> so I had to answer in chat. And then he was like, oh yeah, thank, thanks, BB. I got it. Oh, Jay, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the show, everyone. We appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank I you, Jay. know everything. He even talks about everything on his podcast. Yeah, Coffee over on Coffee Time, Time and Spotify. There you go. I fucked it up. Well done, Jay. <laughs> I'm also, Mike Steven. Is that a sloth or a piece of bread on your arm, Mike Stand? It's been bothering me. It's a not piece both? of bread. It is a is winking really? piece Bruh. of bread. I love it. It's my cable holder. It's like the first gift that Vio sent me, so it's my cable holder. It's so cute. Uh, He's my boy. Think of that. Um, I'm Wax Steven. I have been Frank. your administrator. Thanks, everybody, for uh, hanging out here and enjoying things. Um, thank you for being here through the emotional roller coaster. We appreciate your chat. Thank you so much. Thanks for RPing. Thanks for the fan art. Thanks for uh, everything. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Darcy. Um, thank you, Darcy. Yeah, yes. thank you, Darcy. We love you, Darcy. Um, and thank you, Wack, for that story. Thank you, Wack. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank Happy, you. Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Um, thank you to Jay. Thank you, uh, Nega Oryx. Thank you, Pocket. Thank you, PB. And thank you, Myth, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Um, and yeah, we're sponsored by Monty Cook Games for this show, guys. They gave us some wonderful Buy books. Them. Wonderful books. Uh, Go check the them out on their store, MontyCookGames.com. Head on over to their store. Use the coupon Table Story. Head on over to our Patreon. Excuse me. And uh, if you so if you uh, patron. Uh, patronize, yeah, patronize. Yeah, us patronize. For, us. If you pledge, <laughs> if you pledge three, three or more dollars, then you can, uh, then you can uh, get yourself a bundle uh, that's worth like fifty-three bucks, and you can friggin' go on to the website and and get a whole bunch of free stuff. It's amazing. Um, they have wonderful stuff in there, including the uh, priests of the eons. If you like those guys uh, today, and um, we have. Uh, the beast jerry on there and uh there's quick start rules there's all kinds of stuff on there so go check it out um otherwise tomorrow we have our shill show the august alliance run by sir brad wodo himself um sir brad wodo. and yeah. katie peters place the two of them dual cast gming it's gonna be amazing so amazing fucking oh. incredible can't wait yep you heard it here first. You have to say she's in every shill show. Yeah. Right. Have to. <gasps> she is. Also, can I just say one other thing? I then guess. I'll shut up, I promise. Okay. 
I've always wanted to say this in real life. It's from one of my favorite movies of all time. No. That was a great game. Oh. Hook is a great movie. Don't at me. Oh. I love that movie. I, okay, hold on, hold on, real quick. Um, thanks for the mods, especially Kujio, because he just said he's staying up late, and uh, yeah. I know Wack had you guys working, uh, and these are really RP-heavy shows, and these are different than what we do usually with the chat, so thank you, mods. The thank mods you. definitely don't get enough props, so thank you so much, mods. Yeah. Kujio um, started a new job this week, and he's still here. Sorry. Thank you so much, Kujio. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. <laughs> Um, good night, everybody. We're gonna take you out with, uh, the trailer, the teaser for, uh, for Witchcraft and Wizardry, the new show that's gonna be starting on October 29th. And, patrons, you're gonna get some extra stuff. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit of character creation on the, on the Patreon as well for that show. So, nice. hopefully we'll see you for that. Good night, Wait, everybody. Will they know who's in it. You want to see your wizard word? characters community? Post them. Do we have we announced who's in it or no? No, We're we not, haven't. We yet. have not. Okay. No, no. Okay. No. There will be a cast announcement. There will be. But uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for mm -hmm. joining us in this simulacrum experience. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Peace out. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.